Good evening and welcome to the bet at Wrocław FIM Speedway Grand Prix of Poland from the Olympic Stadium here. The floodlights are on, but has to be said, half the stadium bathed in sunshine. It's a really warm, humid day today. Kelvin Tatum, a former Wrocław rider, alongside me. First of all, Kelv, what an atmosphere. Yes, yeah, fabulous atmosphere. The stadium is uh, full. It's bursting at the seams, which is fabulous to see. The atmosphere is red hot and the introductions, particularly for the Polish riders and particularly the home Polish riders, was fabulous. And uh, it's great to be back in Wrocław. It's a smashing city and uh, the stadium has been revamped two years ago for the World Games. It's in tip top condition. The track looks good. Uh, everybody's here thoroughly looking forward to uh, a great night of speedway racing very much so and uh, the stadium is packed to the rafters yeah this home straight really is a sight to behold the main grandstand here at the olympic stadium and a reminder as we head into tonight's meeting Sai Putinov, Dudek and Madison all level at the top of the world championship on 47 points apiece let's go racing Yes, a beautiful evening here in Wrocław, and here is your lineup for the first race of the night. Patrick Dudek goes off the inside gate, one of three riders leading the World Championship. Mate Zegar goes off two, Freddy Lindgren goes off gate three, and Emil Saifudinov, who topped qualifying last night, he's off the outside gate, and he, too, is on 47 points in the World Championship. If the atmosphere is anything to go by in this magnificent stadium tonight, Kelvin Tatum, well, the racing should be terrific. It's going to be red hot. We're, uh, as you say, we're bursting at the seams with people, and uh, the atmosphere is fabulous. We've got a terrific lineup. Everybody's turned up after the racing yesterday. Of course, the world ride is missing from qualifying, but the man on the outside in heat number one, joint leader of the world championship, with the man on the inside, Saifutinov, riding out of his skin right now. Krista Gardel from Sweden is our referee with his finger on the button. We're about to go racing. Here we go. And it's a good start from Dudek. Watch out for Saifutinov around the outside. Oh, how easy, easy. did he make that look? That was textbook from Saifutinov. Now Dudek tries the inside run. We've got a good race on already at the start of the night here in Wrocław. And it's Saifutinov on the outside run. I'll tell you what, Dudek needs to be careful. I just wondered whether both his wheels were kissing the chalk on the inside of the circuit there. Very close indeed, great stuff from Saifutinov, track slick in the opening race, just caught Dudek out, it's caught them all out in actual fact, it's greasy on top of the surface, Lindgren coming on strong, Zagar now beginning to wind it on right round the outside, Saifutinov has settled nicely, nice move from Lindgren, but uh, then Dudek responds, they're hanging on, you can throw a blanket over the second, third and fourth riders, into the last lap, Saifutinov out in front, Zagar working hard round the outside, desperately trying to get amongst the points, but so putinov has got it in the opening race. Yeah, he's ridden a textbook race here. He's swept across beautifully. And Emil Saifudinov, in the form of his career, opens up with a victory. Second place, Patrick Dudek, very close for third uh, between Freddie Lindgren and uh, Matty Zegar. We don't need to see replays, of course, because the bikes have got transponders these days in the Grand Prix series. And I can tell you, by the way, that there have been two or three uh, borderline decisions on the line this season where referees haven't needed to look at replays because the timing mechanisms make it obvious. So there you go, another step forward for the sport. Emil Saifutinov, the winner, Patrick Dudek second, Freddie Lindgren was third, and Matty Zegar at the back, and Saifutinov with three points leads the World Championship by one point now over Patrick Dudek. Yeah, this is uh, an interesting first race. Track was uh, slick, a little greasy, and Saifutinov just comes sweeping around the outside of the opposition. He nearly then gets suckered uh, by Dudek, because Dudek then charged up the inside, but there's no doubt about it that the track is going to come to the riders. Both wheels, Kel. Just touched it, though, Nigel. The wheel wasn't, wasn't over, over the, the line. line. Yeah. Just touched it, so they'll get away with that. Dudek very nearly losing it there as they enter the first corner for the second time. But uh, Saifutinov gently pulls away. It was a good uh, moment from Freddie Lindgren, and it was a tough scrap for second, third, and fourth, but uh, Dudek prevailed. Lindgren hanging on to a third place with Zagar, dropping back to the inside. Decent opening race but I think there's much, much more to come, that's for sure. Yes, Emil Saifutinov, the 
man of the moment, winning the Speedway of Nations a couple of weeks ago in his home country. What an effort. Of course, it was a spectacular effort, and they won the Speedway of Nations here last year, Russia, on this very track, when they broke Britain's hearts <laughs> with a last gasp of victory. Heat number two is coming up, and there is a huge roar for the man off the inside who rides for the uh, Wrocław team here in this Olympic Stadium. It is Ty Woffen and the reigning world champion. He's missed two rounds of the series with that vertebra injury. Nice. He did practice here last night, looked pretty comfortable. He did, he topped the time sheets after his opening gambit in the qualifying. He will be feeling a touch nervous. I'm sure he will be, he's got the backing of this stadium. He's off the inside, Maxim Dravik, lots of support for him as well, the former World Under-21 champion. Wild card tonight, Fast. Antonio Limbach from Sweden is off gate three in the white helmet, and Niels Christian Iverson of Denmark going off gate four in yellow. All eyes on Woffenden, reigning champion, three times world champion. His comeback earlier than many expected. And here he goes in heat number two. Woffenden wants a top eight finish this year now. That's his target, doesn't want to rely on a pick. And away they go from the start start. Who's going to make it? Woffenden now allows the drop on the inside for Dravik to challenge him. Everson around the outside. It's very tight down that back straight and Everson Lovely run from Niels, Christian Everson. Dravik is in second place right now. Wolfenden is trying the outside run on his home side. Dravik up the inside. Oh! Move from the youngster, charging hard, but Everson won't be done. Look out for Wolfenden! Oh, he's oh. going to get off the gas there. Very nearly running in the back of his teammate there. Dravik, a superb move up the inside, early doors to get the better of Everson. Now Wolfenden's riding on hard around the outside. Would it work? Now he is going to get there, surely no, just running out of a little bit of attraction. Dravik, who was so quick and free practice yesterday, leaves the door open for the inside move. Everson coming back at the world champion, fabulous race in heat number two. The wild card, the former under-21 world champion, leads the world champion. Yeah, Dravik's on his way to victory, a dream start for him. Woffenden is going to hold the inside line for second spot here. To Wrocław, 1-2, and Everson third. After leading the race there, this stadium has erupted, erupted into a sea of noise. That was great speedway, and it's only heat number two. Proper speedway in heat number two. Action bursts into life with two home riders. Dravik has been in terrific form of late, was superb yesterday. Certainly looked so very comfortable in uh, practice, the wild card. And uh, was very, knew exactly where he wanted it to be. Decisive move on the opening lap. Dravik the winner with Woffenden second, Everson third, Lindback at the back, and in his comeback after two months out of action, Woffenden was involved in a proper <laughs> speedway race there. He was indeed. We'll see it again. He makes a good fist of it initially, but elects to run wide in the first corner. Not quite sure. Finds himself in a little bit of no man's land. Drabik then decides that he just wants to hug that inside line. Everson there initially has hit the front, but this inside line works well for Drabik, and that quite clearly was uh, some local knowledge. There's no doubt about that. Talking to Max Frick's crew, they did say first four, um, first four races, quite possibly they will hug the inside. Woofenden then electing to do something very similar and comes through into second place. Actually has to get off the gap at, gas at one point because nearly ran in the back of his teammate. But this is one hell of a speedway race, and I've got to say that the action has burst, burst into full view at this very early stage of the Grand Prix. Super stuff. A promising start, I think it's fair to say. Encouraging, To yes. the action, yes, <laughs> here in uh, Wrocław this evening. Uh, Maxim Drabik, superb ride from the youngster, of course. Well, the, yeah. current world under the current World Under-21 champion is Polish as well, yeah. Bartosz Smektala. They're coming from all over the place, Kel. They are. They have an embarrassment of riches when it comes to youngsters, and we saw the two reserves here tra practicing yesterday as well, and they were mighty quick. They were certainly not outclassed whatsoever, so um, they still are producing plenty of talent. And we've got much three. more more talent to watch in heat number three. Absolutely right. And we have Max Frick, who rides for Wrocław here, rides for the Bellevue Aces in the UK. He'll be back there on Monday in the UK racing. Artem Laguta going off gate two. Bartosz Smarslik goes off gate three in white. And, and it's Janusz Kowadze going off the outside in yellow. A Grand Prix winner this year, Kowadze. Yeah. But surprisingly, outside of the top eight, despite that Grand Prix victory, earlier this season, where in round five of ten here this evening, halfway stage of the World Championship.
Here we go with heat number three. And away from the start, who's going to get there? Will it be Frick off the inside gate? He's there at the moment. Watch out for Smart Slick in white, though. Smart Slick's going around the outside in a big run. Is he going to get the power and the speed? Bartosz Smart Slick in white, lovely run and riding quite beautifully there. And Frick's all over the place. He's been gone to the back here. Now, Kowalczy! What a move from Jonas Kowalczy. Now, Smart Slick repacks the goal. First to last at the end of the first lap. Bitter disappointment for the home rider. Smartslick out in front. Now Kolodje sweeps around. Barto Smartslick. What a performance from him. Of course, he won the Polish Championship very recently as well, winning in Prague the Grand Prix in fine style. Into the last lap, Kolodje enjoying the slick conditions in his opening ride, with Smartslick desperately pushing hard in second. Kowatze wants a top eight place, no doubt about that. Smarslik's going to try the outside run to the line, but Kowatze has ridden a really clever line. It's a Polish 1 2 in heat number three. Max Frick will be gutted about that. Made such a it's good quite, start. It's quite good, this, you know. Yeah, it's a good start it's quite to the meeting. Good. Max Frick will be gutted about that after leading the race, but then ending up in last place. He's a Wrocław rider, of course, so he'll be disappointed with that, but Kowadze and Smarslik. Oh. Goodness me, it was exhibition speedway. Kowadze the winner, Smarslik second, Lugutu was third, and Max Frick trailed in at the back. Three heats gone here, and it has been a terrific opening to this Grand Prix. Oh, it's a frighteningly good, to be perfectly honest. It's been superb. Although the track is slick, it's giving up plenty of passing, which is exciting stuff. Smarslik ruthless with uh, Kolodze in the first corner, and that allows Frick to dominate it, but Frick can't get the speed, he can't get the power to the ground, and finds himself relegated to the back before the end of the last lap. He gets all untidy there, and the boys just come roaring round the Australian. Smarslik hits the front momentarily, but he leaves that door open, and Kolodze says thanks very much. And then uh, Smarslik replaced the compliment, but uh, Kolodze's just got that little bit more grip, a little bit more traction, and as a consequence, finds a little, that touch more speed and is able to fire himself to the front and picks up a very handy win in his opening ride. Smarslik, of course, who didn't practice here, and uh, he did, excuse me, he did. Both these two boys did, of course they did, and uh, he will be pleased with that. And Kolodze, well, a little bit up and down in the Grand Prix series, but has started with a nice win. Yes, and we're up to heat number four now, and here's Leon Madsen in the red helmet colour, who started as one of three riders leading the World Championship, and what a return to the series. He's had Madsen off the inside in red. Then uh, we have the 2017 World Champion, Jason Doyle as well. We have a home rider, Matsey Janowski, going off the outside gate. There's Madsen, a man bang in form, of course, and uh, yeah. having a wonderful season, and what a lineup again for heat number four here. Madsen off the inside, Jason Doyle going off two in blue, Martin Vasilik in white, gate number three. He's having a good season as well. Yes. And Matsey Janowski outside gate in yellow. Well, Janowski's not having a great season, but what an opportunity this evening in front of his home crowd to put that straight and come up with a big performance here tonight. Madsen will be a major force here this evening. The conditions could be right up his street. Here we go, settling down for heat number four. Yeah, should be another good race this one. And away from the start, Madsen has made a good one, but gate one has been good so far. Watch out for Janowski around the outside. Madsen needs to close the door, has done, hasn't left any room there. Now Janowski will try the big blast around the outside. Home advantage, knows every inch of this track. Madsen making a push hard, but Janowski drops the bike on Madsen brilliantly with a sweet move. Second place in Madsen, third in blue here is Jason Doyle right now. But Kelv, what a move, a bit of magic from Matsey Janowski there. It's not over, no, no, Madsen isn't out of this. Martin Vasilik also pushing hard. Madsen now jumping back to Whoa! the inside. Finds a little bit of a grip. These conditions will be perfect for Leon Madsen. He runs wide. Now Janowski chops back to the inside. The chance to the line. Madsen still hanging on out in front. Madsen has been a revelation so far this season. Winning a Grand Prix, he's had a second and third as well. He's out front, riding brilliantly. Here he comes to take a victory and his opening ride of the night. It's Leon Madsen of Denmark, second place, Matze Janowski. And third in white was Martin Vasilik. Jason Doyle at the back on that occasion, but more 
great speedway. We've had four heats. Every rider has now completed one ride, and all four heats have served up some terrific speedway so far. Wow, what a spectacular start to the event this evening. Superb conditions, riders being able to demonstrate their skills to the very best of their ability. And we've seen Leo Madsen do that in heat four. Madsen, Janowski, Vasilik, Doyle, and winners so far, Saifutinov, Kowadze, Madsen and Drabik. They are your race winners after four terrific heats, and there's plenty more to come. Well, quite a, quite a, a night. Superstar <laughs> to the evening. And uh, Leo Madsen um, didn't panic here at all because Janowski certainly rode superbly well at the, the early stages here. He was able to get the better of Leon. And um, just coming out of turn four in the opening lap, just quite dug in there and just got himself to the front. But Leon Madsen, you know, when it's pretty slick and smooth, he has tremendous pace. And his race winning time was very fast indeed despite the fact that he had to battle his way back to the front. Real good battle going on for third, with Martin Vashlik actually getting the better of uh, Jason Doyle, who just didn't have the setup. Here we see Madsen now coming through nicely into uh, to hit the front. And as hard as Janowski tries, he just cannot make his way back. So here's the move from uh, Vashlik. Around the outside of Doyle, who will be frustrated with that. Just had no answer whatsoever. But Leon Madsen, his form continues. Look at that means everything. Yes, very much so, and it means that uh, Saifutinov and Madsen are level at the top of the World Championship on 50 points apiece. Dudek just one behind, 49, and, well, this is a, a <laughs> wonderful occasion, a packed house. Look at that for a shot oh, of the fabulous. main stand here. Brand new absolutely stand, Absolutely chock-a-block, yeah. Yeah, it's good. It, it was and, uh, uh, rebuilt in 2017. Every inch of this place was renovated, and it really is a wonderful stadium these days. Janowski, Dudek, Wuffenden, Smarschlik all ready to get out there. Wuffenden, of course, who uh, missed two months of racing, and yesterday was the first time he'd been back on a bike. Having a bit of a laugh and a joke with the other riders there. Maybe that wouldn't be the case if he was in the world title hunt. Possibly not, but uh, Ty is quite a remarkable man. He, uh, he remains extremely calm, and I think that's one of his main strengths, that he has this mindset where he can actually just you know, alleviate all pressure away from him by remaining very uh, calm. And, uh, of course, in recent times, since 2013, he really has been a dominant rider at this level, and that's no easy feat to do, to remain so good for so long. Um, plenty of uh, water going down. That's done now, and uh, riders will be ushered out onto the track very shortly. Yes, they're being pushed off immediately. And as I say, heat number five is uh, quite a tasty lineup. It could be uh, a very nice race to win this. You could uh, quite a feather in your cap if you can pick up three points here. Just a little bit, yeah. Lineup like this, it's hard to predict as well. So, so tough to predict uh, a race winner here, uh, particularly after a grading break as well. Yeah, we're straight out after heat four. You can see the water glistening on the surface. That will have an impact. We saw that in qualifying yesterday where it just tended to make it a little bit greasy but there's a lot of second places here in actual fact from the opening races i think um, from memory i think they all came second in their opening races so um uh, very consistent but somebody's going to win it this time that's for sure that's going to change very shortly yes riders up at tapes two front 12 riders Matt Sayanovsky off one and ty wolfman off three two riders who've ridden this track a lot patrick dudek off two Bartosz Marszlik on four, a couple of Polish riders, of course. Should be a belter, let's hope it is. Heat number five. Heat number five it is. Can it live up to the opening four heats that we've seen where it was superb speedway? Matt Sejanowski off the inside in red. Patrick Dudek, gate two in blue. Ty Wuffen and gate three in white, and then Bartosz Smarslik going off the outside in yellow. We've had the track grading, some water has gone down. Let's see how the boys perform in heat number five. Yeah, really looking forward to it. A fabulous lineup. This is a race to be proud to win, that's for sure. A real feather in your cap. If you can pick up three points here, that'll really boost your confidence. All had a second place first time out, so they're in the Grand Prix. One or two tweaks to the equipment, I'm sure. 
but uh, pride on the line here at this early stage. These boys know each other inside out. Top quality number, heat number five. Yes, this is the top table of World Speedway right here. Heat number five. Almost ready to go here. Chris Degardo with his finger on the button. Green light on and they're away. And who is going to get there? Smarslik across from the outside. And now he's going to try the switch on the inside on Janowski. But Janowski's got the line. Janowski's holding the line nicely. Smarslik second, Wolfenden third. But Dudek threatening Wolfenden as well. The lead is with Matze Janowski, who holds that lead. Second place, Smarslik, who's going to try the outside run. Wolfenden is third right now. And Wolfenden's closing the gap on Smarslik as well. Dudek at the back, good stuff here. Indeed it is, Schwarzlick beginning to wind it on, Janowski right round the inside, just a little bit greasy after the grading break, Riders searching for Greece, Schwarzlick oh! now, roars round the outside, makes the move, Dermot just fires himself to the front, Wuffenden's now going to chase on as well, can he get the better of his teammate in second place, but Schwarzlick on another planet coming out of turn four, then he sweeps it back across the opposition, Superb stuff from Smarslik out in front. Yeah, he's hanging off the bike, absolutely flying here. Brilliant, Bartosz Smarslik with a spectacular ride and a wonderful, wonderful victory. Janowski shakes his head as he goes over the line. He's disappointed with that, but I'll tell you what, in that situation, you just have to put your hands up sometimes and say, perhaps, Bartosz Smarslik was unstoppable there. That was a stunning ride from the pole, Bartosz Marslik very much in world title contention again this year, yeah. and that was brilliant. Bartosz Marslik the winner, Matt Sejanowski uh, was in second place there, Ty Wuffenden held on to third under pressure from Dudek, but what a ride from Smarslik, and he Superb. moves up to five points from two rides, great stuff. Well, that's a brilliant ride from Smarslik and a great race to win. I don't think the boys were particularly comfortable out there. It looked a little greasy with the surface water, but uh, there's no doubt that uh, the racing will improve um, uh, the more races we get. But uh, I think that's why Janowski was a touch disappointed and frustrated here. He makes a good fist of it initially, covers the moves from Schmarzlik, but Schmarzlik is brave here. He elects to go for the big run round the outside, seeing Wuffenden um, just uh, blocking the move from Dudek early on, but Schmarslik is forced to go wide, it pays dividends, he sweeps across the front of Janowski, who is then not quite able to get back to the front, and that's the second time that Janowski's hit the front and been passed, so they'll be scratching their heads a wee bit back in the pit box, but for Schmarslik, five points out of six, a terrific start to his Grand Prix, quite clearly fired up for tonight, and we saw him in the Italian earlier today, so that pizza quite clearly was the right <laughs> lunch for him. I think he might have been on pasta or salad, Kel. Well, I don't know. I reckon it was pizza <laughs> myself. They were very tasty, by the way, anyway. Yeah, heat number six. Uh, brilliant. Yep. And um, another superb lineup. Every race is a great lineup, and it has to be said that that race number five was fantastic. There's been passing in all five races tonight. Super. It's been that good. Uh, it's not even taken time to warm up. It's just green. Absolutely stunning from the start. Jason Doyle off the inside uh, from Australia, of course, and no rider has got a point on the board here. Yeah, yep, work, 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 right. work to be done. Doesn't happen very often. Frick going off gate number two in blue. Then it's Matte Zegar off gate three, and Antonio Lin back off the outside. As Kelvin mentioned earlier, some of the boys were in extra league action last night. It was a busy night with four teams in action uh, last night in the extra league. And uh, well, a couple of riders, or a few riders missing qualification last night. But seven, seven in yeah, total. Absolutely, here we go. Heat number six, and it's a good start from Doyle off the inside. Gator! Oh! Sagar had a shake. Sagar's got to go for that. I think that. he'll have to go for he'll that. He'll have to go for that. He lost control of he the bike. He did into it. Antonio Limbach had no chance whatsoever. Sagar just, shake, um, just straightened up. And uh, we keep our fingers crossed that... Um, Antonio's OK. Zegar's coming straight round to see that he's all right. Nothing intended there whatsoever. No, just He bike. lost control of the bike. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a little unusual because it is very slick out there, but he just got caught out and the bike straightened up. Yeah, Matty going straight across to see that Antonio is OK because that was a pure accident, absolute pure accident. Wasn't even a racing situation. No, and there's limited amount of grip out there, so when you hit the surface, you just going to rush across it, there's nothing to slow you down. He's up. And uh, what Sagar's... Uh, no, 
is. Yes, he's sort of on his haunches, so let's keep our fingers crossed that he's, uh, he's OK. Well, he um, hit the air fence. I mean, I know it's an air fence kill, well, but... Just at the gate Still an there, awkward off, it? yeah. It is an awkward place to hit the gate, and he slid underneath it, so let's hope he didn't hit anything nasty behind it. Helmet's off. Looks like he's just taking a few moments. I think... A few uh, deep breaths, I think, Kelf. Well, yeah, don't blame him. Here we go. We'll see it again. Tapes are up, and keep your eyes on Zago. Zago allows the bike to run deep into the corner. It straightens up just a fraction and just nails Antonio on the outside. He'll go for that. Pure accident. And the white exclusion light is on, so it'll be three riders on. Oh. Well, one of those unfortunate situations in Speedway that does happen occasionally. It's a shame for Zagar, because he needs every world champion point, uh, well, every point he can get. And uh, Limbach is also having a hard time. You can see how hard he hits there, just bursts the gate open. So uh, he felt the full force of that. And as I say, the, because the track's slick and the bike straightens up, as the bike goes down there, there's nothing to slow it down. And as I say, he, he accelerates across the surface, and that, was, that makes it really quite dramatic. There, the back tire just digging in, and boom. Thank God for air fences, because I, I can tell you, when I was here, there wasn't one. Yes. And uh, it hurt when you hit it. But uh, he's OK, and that's good news. And they'll just uh, get themselves organised. He's at uh, the far end. The pits are at the opposite end to the first corner, so it'll be a few moments before Phil Morris instructs uh, the referee to put the two minutes back on. Uh, Tsega, of course, will be disappointed. Bike just got away from him. And now he's going to be uh, no points from two outings, Zagar, so he's under pressure. He's going to have to produce some big rides in his next three outings to make the semi-finals. No major surprise that we're back here. Right, Mate Zagar, we can hear from him now after that incident. He's with Kiri. Matty, such an unfortunate incident in that heat. You went straight over to Antonio to see if he's OK, but can you tell us what happened? Yeah, no, I'm really glad uh, Antonio was OK because... I was just caught up with, uh, I don't know, some some little rut there or patch of a uh, bit more dirt because I was leaning really back on the bike to gain, to gain speed. But of course, uh, I couldn't pull it back uh, no more. And uh, un unfortunately, yeah, I, uh, uh, I, I really crashed into Antonio. So he had nowhere to go, so I'm glad he's OK. OK, and I just saw you talking to Philip. What was that about? Yeah, because I only heard, I got some warning, but yeah, that was a mistake, so, okay. Okay, tell me, was there just no grip out there on the track? No, there is grip, obviously I found some, so, uh, yeah, no, it's not funny, but, as I said, Antonio's good, I got excluded, fair enough, uh, three hits to go, so, gotta get better. All right, thanks, Matty. There's still a lot of riders ahead of him in the race for the top eight, and uh, we will reach the halfway stage of the yeah, still, series this evening. Exactly, nice. You're right, and but the problem is you can ill afford to be throwing opportunities away, and it's so competitive. You can see there, Janowski uh, down there on 28 as well, freaking 12th. Of course, Sagar is outside the top 12, so um, it's very tight. A big performance somewhere will shoot him up the table, but... Um, uh, he needs to really just uh, refocus for the remainder of the evening. Yeah, Matty just saying there, he thought he either hit a rut or perhaps it was a little bit of uh, drive, a little I know, bit of I've got an idea grip. what it was, because when I did the track report yesterday, there's a distinct difference between the outside and the inside, and he was right on the edge of it where, where they've really ripped it up. And it's quite ripply, and the tar grabbed hold of him there, and just uh, the bike got away from him. So there you are, a little bit of drama. For heat number six, we've seen plenty of drama in terms of passing and racing. And then, uh, thankfully, Antonio here in the yellow helmet colour is OK to come back and take his place in the restart of heat number six here of the Betard Wrocław FAM Speedway Grand Prix of Poland here in this Olympic Stadium with a, a full house here, enjoying the conditions, a warm evening here. And here we go with the restart of race number six. Doyle away from the inside gate in red, makes a good one. Now, coming around the outside is Antonio Limbach in the drive. Will Doyle leave some room? Yes, he will around the outside. Limbach now, freak up the inside. Really pushing Doyle hard. 
but Antonio Limbach just a few moments ago was in that air fence at high speed. Now he's got the lead here, and that outside run seems to be working nicely, uh, passing around the rider on the inside, and Doyle under pressure from Frick now here. Doyle having to work very hard in second place. Home rider Frick beginning to work things out. Antonio Limbach forced to change his equipment, it's done him a right favour. Bike's absolutely <laughs> flying in front. And uh, he is certainly utilising the second chance and he's going to win comfortably, barring any issues with his equipment. He's out front, looking good. Doyle has just about kept Frick at bay. And uh, Frick, uh, sorry, all these guys will score points for the first time this evening. But for Antonio Limbach, this is a smashing way to bounce back from a nasty incident. Yeah, Antonio Limbach going to take the checkered flag here. And down to the line, Doyle holds out for second spot there ahead of Max Frick in third in blue, but that was a fine ride. Limbach doing all his hard work early on, going out into the dirt, the drive, and sweeping around the outside. And particularly on that first and second turn, Kel, that yeah. seems to be the way to go. Well, where we've had that delay, the water's just evaporated a little bit, and just a nice little cushion of dirt out there, slicker than yesterday, but there's no doubt that he was able to utilize it, and he roared away and picked up a very handy three points. Yes, Limbach then the race winner. Heat number six, Limbach the winner with a Jason Doyle in second spot. Max Frick was third. Matty Zegar disqualified, of course. But that's a fine win for Antonio Limbach. Needed that. He did, and it was a good time as well, Nige. Yes, and he moves well and truly up the standings. Remember the top eight, if you are new to individual Grand Prix Speedway, you need to get into the top eight on the night to reach the semi-finals. Yeah, what you were talking about, this uh, mid-track move just allows it to sweep round there. A little bit drier surface, and all of a sudden the bike hooks up and fires himself to the front. Doyle has to work hard here because Frick was all over him. And uh, there's no doubt that uh, the two Aussie boys really put on quite a battle for second and third, but uh, the former world champion just about hanging on. Not looking totally convincing. They need to work harder to try and find a bit more speed. But the spare bike here for Antonio, forced to take it because the first one was bent out of shape. He's actually quite pleased about it. Yes, well done, that man. Terrific effort from Antonio. Three quite, points. Quite a tough way to do it, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, very much so. Had to pick himself up and dust himself down after that unfortunate incident. We're up to heat number seven now. And we have a couple of race winners, Leon Madsen and Maxim Drabic, ready to do battle here in this one, heat number seven, as we look across the grid. Artem Laguta inside gate. A little bit inconsistent in the World Championship outside the top eight right now. Mm. Leon Manson goes off gate two in blue in the hunt for the world title. Maxim Drabic goes off gate three in white, the wild card tonight. Winner first time out, very impressively done. Yes. Funny Lindgren off the outside in yellow. Yeah, and Drabic, uh, prior to the qualifying for real, was the fastest rider on show and uh, he was uh, impressive in his uh, opening ride. Here we go, this could be quite a clash here. Yep, heat number seven it is. Madsen hasn't made the best of starts. Laguta has got there. Watch out for Lindgren in yellow. Lindgren comes high and wide around the outside. Has he got the drive? Laguta just holding on to the lead right now. Now Lindgren again in turns three and four, tries the outside run. Here he comes on the home straight, and Done he's going to get there. What a move from Freddie Lindgren, superb stuff. And now Madsen taking up the challenge, chasing hard after Laguta. And it's Drabic at the back, watch out for Manson in blue now, here he comes, really piling the pressure on the man in red, Arta Laguta, some great speedway again here, the inside run now! Oh, Manson switches at the last second, fast himself into second place, don't rule Manson out for oh. the win, he's going to run it up round the outside, right up against the fence, charges out of turn four, Freddie Lingman is definitely vulnerable in the front, Manson again showing fabulous speed, Round turns one and two, down the back straight for the last turn, he hits the front, brilliant stuff. Sensational speedway from Leon Manson from third to first, didn't make the best of starts, Whoa. but has carved up the race. Stunning swoop from Leon Manson in blue, what a great speedway race that was. <laughs> Leon Manson is at it again. What a ride. Looked like for all that he was having no chance. Fast time again, 64.9 seconds. He is on fire tonight. Really entertaining everybody here coming through the traffic. 
Lindgren tried all he had there, threw everything at it, but Madsen had the answers. Here we see it again, what a race. Brilliant stuff. Initially, Lagutra <laughs> from the inside. This is the good stuff, Nigel. We had a wonderful British final at the beginning of the week, and crikey, the Grand Prix is every bit as good so far. Lagutra initially on the inside. Lindgren then utilizing that little bit more grip on the outside, swoops to the front, but Madsen, who missed the start, just settles into the race nicely, feels the bike working, moves to the outside, and now begins to strut his stuff. This is a crafty move from the Dane. Just that split second decision to sweep up the inside, then the bike digging in, and then the speed he's, speed he's generating out in the dirt here. Well, it's breathtaking, and Madsen once again proving to be a really strong force in the Grand Prix. And rides like this, this is championship winning form. Could we see another Danish world champion after the proud pedigree of the Danes on the top step of the podium? Could Madsen join that illustrious, illustrious list of Danish wow. world champions? Madsen the winner, Lindgren second, Laguta was third, and Maxim Drabic at the back that time. Seven races gone here. This is a terrific Grand Prix. And Leon Madsen has won two out of two and leads the world championship by three points now over Emil Saifutinov, but of course Emil has a race in hand, terrific ride, Leon Madsen, now we're up to heat number eight after this race, every rider will have completed two outings, it really is Brilliant. a terrific night of Speedway, crowd loving it, it's a packed house, Emil Saifutinov going off the inside in red, Niels Christian Everson goes off gate number two, then it's Janus Kwanze gate three in white, a winner first time out, and Martin Vasilik off the outside, yeah, another smashing lineup. Tracks really coming to the riders there. You can see it. They're able to ride on that cushion of a little bit of dirt on the outside, and Madsen used it brilliantly. Saifutinov this time going from the gate four in his first ride. He gets the inside gate this time. Koloche could be a danger. He was impressive first time. Yeah, very quick indeed. Watch out for that outside run. Turns one and two. Saifutinov's made the start. Now he's going to go wide. Will he block the challenge of the man in yellow and the man in blue? And charging through, that man in yellow is Martin Vasilik. And Emil Saifutinov is in second spot right now. It's Niels Christian Everson in third. Watch out for Kowadze, though. Kowadze, oh! white switches on oh, the inside. Brilliant. What a move from Kowadze. <laughs> now Saifutinov's coming back for more on the inside. What a meeting we've got on our hands here. Have we ever? Martin Vasilik sharp away from the start. Sensational move from Kolodze. And uh, Saifutinov could do nothing about it. Got to say, this is a big improvement from Vasilik, who was disappointing first time. And Saifutinov is tailed off at the back with Everson beginning to put him under pressure. But Martin Vasilik enjoying a great season out in front. A lap to go. Kolodze working hard in second place. But you've got to say that Vasilik has got a great great lead on here. Saifutinov really working hard to block the challenge of Everson at the back of the race here, but that's a terrific ride from Martin Vasilik in yellow. Brilliant. Second place, Janusz Kowadze, and third, Emil Saifutinov. What a race. You get, I mean, what a move that was. Yeah, it was brilliant. That split-second decision that he knew that there wasn't going to be the opportunity to go wide. Shot to the inside, again 64.7, the track is coming to the riders, drying through those first, those, uh, that block of races, and all of a sudden the boys could really strut their stuff. Yeah. Great ride from Vasilik. Very intelligent ride, I thought, there from Martin, you have to think really quickly, using your Speedway racer's brain, of course, and that was fantastic. And here we see Madsen now leading the way on six points from two rides. We've had eight races, top eight make the semi-finals. Well, this is what uh, Grand Prix Speedway is all about. We have had eight races and we've been royally entertained so far. We see the action again in heat uh, number eight. Saifutinov so initially nicely, but finds himself just in the meat of the sandwich there. And uh, Martin Vasilik makes his move early, gets that nice run round the outside. Kolodze then following through, and actually the uh, grip on the outside coming off turn four is good. And then uh, that uh, terrific switch to the inside to beat uh, the Russian into second place. He can't quite get to Vasilik because, um, as my colleague said, it was a very intelligent ride from him out in front. It was uh, required, much needed, because he looked uh, a little bit off the pace in his opening ride, but um, 
Yeah, very good racing indeed, and we've been really quite exciting stuff so far. Oh, it's a terrific speedway meeting, there's no doubt about that. Let's hear from Ty Woffenden on his return to action. He's now with Kiri Bloor. Ty, some good points picked up there, three points after two heats. How are you feeling? Yeah, I feel all right. Um, just chasing the setup. It's a lot slicker than it normally is here in the league. Um, I was out after the grading after that one, so just spun off the start. But um, I was just so good to be back on the bike and um, you know, enjoyed my first race, enjoyed my second one, and uh, just chasing a little bit of a, a better setup so we can have a bit more speed. But uh, you can definitely tell I've had two months off the bike, you know, just not quite there with the boys that have been racing week on week. So um, yeah, we'll just take a time. Well, there's some good battles out there. Outside line seems to be working well. Is that what you've seen? Uh, yeah, that's pretty normal for here. So um, I tried it a couple of times and didn't really have the setup to, to get the thing to go. So I uh, made a couple of changes and we're just, we're just cruising tonight. It's a good night. All right, thanks, Ty. Thank you. If he gets the setup, don't rule him out. He's got three points. That's a reasonable base to work from. And he's got uh, three heats to come, so a possible nine more points. And uh, Wuffenden... Um, He'll want to make the semi-finals at the very least. Here we see Antonio Limbach, an impressive uh, race winner last time, but he went from gate four that time. He's on the inside this time. Yep, so uh, heat number nine it is. As we build up to the action, Dudek doing a practice start. And uh, the riders just making their preparations for this first race after the grading break. Heat number nine it is of what has been a superb Grand Prix so far. We are eight races in, and heat number nine is coming up very shortly as the riders make their final preparations for the next set of four heats here in Wrocław. Heat nine it is, Antonio Limbach going off the inside gate. Three points to his name, that race win after the uh, exclusion, of course, of Zegar. Martin Vashelik, very impressive last time out. He goes off gate two, four points to his name. Patrick Dudek goes off gate number three in white. And Artem Laguta off the outside. Dudek on 49 World Championship points. is four behind Madsen now. Mm. Leon Madsen, 53 points. Emil Seifertin off 51. Bartosz Smarslik and Patrick Dudek well, level on 49 points apiece, as you can see from your graphic on the screen. It's very interesting. Dudek he wasn't here yesterday, but he got drawn for the first number one pick. And, of course, he will get the track freshly prepared after its break. So, again, we've had a bit of water go down. It is glistening on the surface. So um, uh, that's not easy for bike setup, and he's going to encounter that every time he comes out tonight, five times. So let's wait and see how it gets on here. Needs points, though. Yeah, one thing we do know that is working is that outside run. Here we go. That's a super start from Martin Vashelik, but Lindback has got there, and now here's Dudek trying the inside run. Watch out for Laguta in yellow now. Oh, there's no room there! And Lindback just closes the door. That was a tough move as Lindback just preserved his advantage there. Needed to do that. Laguta all over him here. Vashelik third now with Dudek in the back. And that's a blow to Patrick Dudek, but Limbach just about holding on. Yeah, Antonio Limbach, well, this is super sub from him. He's backing up that previous win. They're running really wide there. Dudek certainly finding it difficult to get a good set up. And he's tailed off at the back, and this is a oh, this is a very disappointing evening for the pole. But out in front, Antonio Limbach has had a disappointing campaign so far. Certainly looking much, much better here. The like Pilak is going to have. Back-to-back -back heat wins, and to Artem Laguta chasing him down. The boys chasing the uh, dirt much wider this time. And Tony Lindback knows he's got it. Yeah, Lindback's on his way to a second successive race victory here. Close the door on Laguta down the back straight. Needed to do that. Vasilik third and Patrick Dudek well adrift at the back, looking pretty disillusioned there in the white helmet colour, and this could be a defining night for Dudek. He cannot afford to let Manson pull too clear in the world title race, but what about that fella? Whoa. Antonio Limbach. Superb stuff. Hit the deck hard when Zagar swiped him, and he's picked himself up, changed his bike, 
and he's picked up uh, six points. Look at that, a second slower on the time, Nige. Laguta, second, Vasilik third, and Patrick Dudek, a second successive last place. And significant point you made about the race time, Kel. Yeah, it's uh, it's just over a second slower than one of the times I saw for Madsen on 64.9. It's 65.9. He's chuffed to bits, of course. And uh, he got there from the inside. And uh, fair play to him, because uh, there's no doubt with uh, that greasy surface, he was able to just slam that door shut. He just got the momentum enough at that early stage and throws the bike in front of uh, Artem Laguta, who is a little bit out of shape, with the door being firmly shut down that back straight on the first lap. And as hard as Artem uh, tried, he just could not get the better of the Swedish man who picks up his second win. Uh, Dudek, yeah, well, disappointing run for him. Really has uh, had a hard time. Um, uh, that pick for him without doing qualifying yesterday is certainly backfiring. And, uh, it's a, a tough night so far for the pole. For, for that man, six points, that's a really good return. Tell you what, if Madsen wins this race, Dudek will be seven adrift in the world title race. It's that type of night which could be a game-changer, if you like. Mm. Building up to heat ten, here's Wolfenden, who's just cruising along tonight, just re relaxing, no, mate, well, not relaxing on a speedway bike, of course, but no huge pressure for Wolfenden. Quite a contingent from the UK have made the journey over here tonight and a bonus for them to see Wolfenden in action of course don't forget the British Grand Prix in Cardiff on September the 21st tickets on sale right now for the Principality Stadium five o'clock start Saturday September the 21st Giannis Kowadze going off the inside gate then it's Wolfenden Leon Madsen unbeaten so far two out of two is off gate three and Matty Zegar needs points, yeah. but look at the lineup against him off the inside three gates. It doesn't get any easier, does it? It's a tough race, that's for sure. Madsen, who's been in sparkling form, can he do it again? It's number 10, it is. That's a great start from Kowadze. Now, what can Madsen do? Around the outside, here comes Zegar. Matty Zegar in the yellow helmet colour comes around the outside of Woffenden, and Madsen's got on the inside of Woffenden as well. The Kowadze riding beautifully oh. here, Madsen chops off the front of Matty Zegar. Now that was ruthless from the Dane. Oh, now Wolfenden trying hard to get the better of Zegar, but the lead here is Janus Kolodze. Now, can Madsen do it again? Well, he'll certainly try. Kolodze having a great night. Wolfenden's elected to go right round the inside. Not sure that's going to work out for him. Madsen absolutely inspired on the first lap. Desperately trying to make his way towards Kolodze, but Kolodze's going great guns tonight. Madsen running hard and wide in the bottom corner, searching for more grip, searching for more speed, into the last lap, Madsen again, high and wide, winding it on, down the back straight for the Closing last turn, the Closing in, Here. one big car, corner to come. Here he goes in turn three and four for the final time. Kawante's made a really good move there though, held a really clever line. That was intelligent from Kawante, and the Polish fans celebrate. And that's Leon Madsen's first defeat of the night, but my goodness, he closed the gap dramatically in the closing stages. Indeed he did, and you've got to give him so much credit because he's not getting away from the tapes at all well. He was at the back coming out of the last, uh, the first corner, excuse me, on the opening lap and dived into second place. Kolodze, though, whoa, good ride. Kolodze, the winner with Madsen second. Zegar was third on that occasion, and Ty Woffenden at the back. This is what it means. Kowadze on eight points, level with Madsen. They're looking good now for a place in the semi-finals with a couple of races to spare. Yeah, great effort from Kowadze. Certainly these conditions uh, are suiting him down to the ground. The inside gate. He gets away very nicely indeed. That bike really does dig in and go forward. Zager, I thought for a moment, was going to be able to really make a big move here. Gets the better of the world champion down the back straight. Woof and... Woof. Yep. Superb stuff in uh, heat and number. And there we 10. see that move yep. from Leon Matson just charging through and uh, grabbing that second place. It's uh, awfully tight. Oh, Matty Zagar. And Zagar out of shape. He gets yeah. the better of uh, the world champion who certainly um, uh, it's, uh, it was hard for him. But Leon Matson coming on strong at the end. And uh, Koloche and Matson certainly. Um, it was uh, a terrific, uh, terrific run from him. But for those, those two, they're working well tonight. Just a little bit. 
Kowadze. We move on to heat number 11 here now. Giannis Kowadze, eight points out of nine. We're probably going to see him in the semi-finals a little bit later tonight. This Marshling, superb in his last ride. The blue helmet colour here, gate number two. And uh, Niels Christian Everson struggling for the setup, according to his interview. During the grading break, Everson off the inside in red. Then it's Bartosz Marshling, gate two in blue, five from two rides. Freddie Lindgren, gate three in white. And then it's Jason Doyle from Australia going off the outside in yellow. Can anybody stop this fella? Smarslik off gate two. Well, he's been very impressive so far. And uh, he's very much in the hunt. Everson searching for performance. You've got to believe that uh, Smarslik could well be in front of him, but uh, there's no doubt the focus of attention is on Smarslik in gate two. Yeah, Everson being brought to the tapes by the star marshal here. Heat number 11. Very tense at the start, Everson has got there. Now, what about the inside run for Smarsling? Smarsling gets there, closes wow. the door. Oh, he's all over the place and charging up the inside. Oh, cool. oh my goodness me, all bunched up. Freddie oh, Lindgren. Freddie Lindgren <laughs> almost wiped them out there. The lead is with Jason Doyle. And then second place, Bartosz Smarsling. The outside run here is Freddie Lindgren. Everson's in red. Lindgren switches to the inside. Unbelievable speedway here again. Brilliant stuff. Freddie Lindgren just come charging up the inside. Smarsling now trying to repay the compliment. Pushing on in third place. This time, Doyle's got himself to the front and the bike's working well. Right up against the fence down the back straight. Pushing on in front. Freddie Lindgren once again. Charging hard in second place, and Smarsling has been out battled here and forced back into third place. And Everson's woes continue. He is out the back. Dial down the back straight for the last time. Well, I did say, can anybody beat Bartosz Smarsling here? Two of them are going to do that. So Jason Doyle, <laughs> yes, super right from Doyle. Freddie Lindgren in second spot in white, and Bartosz Smarsling third. It's getting tough out there. It's getting ruthless. It's World Championship Speedway. No quarter asked or given. And who is bravest, bravest battles most wow. and gets the rewards? And Jason Doyle there, his best ride of the night. And a victory in heat number 11 from Freddie Lindgren. Second place, Freddie was getting involved there, wasn't he? And Bartosz Smarslik was shy, there. that's for sure. <laughs> and so they came through into the thick of the action. Smarslik was beaten up. But an encouraging ride from Doyle and moves on to five points. Yeah, that transforms his evening. Five points from three rides for Doyley. Good ride indeed, as he's got five from the last two now, Jason Doyle. They've made Much a few changes, haven't yeah. they? Certainly the slick conditions at the beginning of the evening caught him out, just didn't have the speed. And now all of a sudden, ignition, jetting, gearing, they've been working hard. And it works uh, nicely. Gets the better of Smarslik by slipping up the inside. Smarslik all out of shape on the back wheel, rushing oh. across in front of him. Great move from Doyley down the back straight. Charges up the inside. Lingren does something very similar a little later on as well. He comes uh, roaring oh. through. I tell you what, it's unbelievable, <laughs> isn't it? Oh. <laughs> now, if Smarslik had gone down there, I think Doyle would have gone. Um, uh, it would have been a contentious one, but Ling uh, Lindgren does something oh. very so Have some of that, mate. And uh, I'm coming through. And uh, certainly there was no, as you say, no quarter arse or given there. And uh, the concentration on Doyle's eyes there, you can see the former world champion winding it on. And he's turned his fortunes around now. That was more like it. He's enjoying it. He had a great speedway of nations. And uh, he's looking now as if he's going to make the semis tonight. Yeah, it was brilliant in Russia, Doily, and then, uh, of course, Australia got the bronze medal. Terrific achievement, gives us something to build on as we look towards heat 12 here. Now, Emil Saifutinov needs to try and close that gap on Liam Madsen. Madsen leads the World Championship by four points right now as we build up to heat number 12. It's Yanovsky off the inside in red. Emil Saifutinov gate two in the blue, how we colour four points so far. Yeah. Max Frick gate three. And then it's Maxim Drabic going off the outside. Three Wrocław riders and Emil Saifutinov. Yeah, who's changed his bike. You can see that by the transponders. He's gone from bike B to bike C. So uh, quite clearly not happy with the setup. And uh, they're going to give this one a run. Here we go. 
Yeah. Should be a good race this one. Saifu Dinoff has made a decent start from two. Janowski tries to get there on the inside run here. Now Emil tries the outside as Janowski closes that gap and round the outside. Oh. Emil Saifu Dinoff. Watch out for the man in white here, Max Frick. Really having a go now. They're all oh. marching up. Oh, goodness me. Frick into second. Oh, oh. Frick almost loses it. Janowski now on the inside with his teammate from Wrocław. The man at the back is the wild card. That's Maxim Drabik. But normal service resumed for Emil Seifudinov. But now watch out for Frick again on the inside. Oh, so tight. Frick and Janowski now down the back straight. Janowski just about getting his nose in front. Just about gets back into second place. So I booted off on this bike quite clearly the right decision. He's out in front and enjoying a terrific run. Frick's not done, no Nights. He's is coming in room? again. Oh, don't know. No, no room no. there. Sorry. Now the inside run. Here he no comes. Room there. Well, Janowski, <laughs> Janowski has read the move superbly, blocked the challenge of his teammate. I say teammate in league fixtures here in Poland. It's an individual competition. No, don't wish to confuse our casual viewers, but what a ride from Saifu Dinov. Well, it was a good ride, and uh, you said it earlier on, Nights, about a speedway brain. There's no doubt that Janowskis was engaged there on the back straight because he had it all covered nicely. Frick had the speed, but uh, was able to block the move, Janowski. But Saifu Dinov, the right move at the right time with the equipment. Yep, Saifutinov wins it. That's his second win of the night. Janowski second, Frick third. Drabik, who started well, but has found life tough since then. And Saifutinov moves on to seven points, but the leaders tonight, after 12 heats, three rides each, Kowadze and Madsen. Quite a lively night, Kelf. Yeah, I'm enjoying it very much. <laughs> and uh, I think that the majority of this crowd are as well. It's been uh, very entertaining so far. We see this uh, heat again, heat uh, number 12. Certainly it's uh, a lively affair. And the inside initially, Janowski's had a hard time tonight. He's solid with second places, but he keeps getting overtaken. And Saifutinov quite clearly on that uh, second bike or the second choice of bike. Um, uh, it works a treat. That's a great move by Frick there, but he can't hang on to second place. Just gets a little untidy there. And even half a mistake tonight is punished because uh, Janowski is able to get back into second place. And as hard as the Australian tries, he just cannot hang on. It's a royal battle here between the uh, teammates, but uh, Janowski, the more experienced one of them, was able to finally seal the deal with a second place. And Drabic, well, after a great opening gambit in his opening ride, he has failed to score in the next two. But uh, for Saifutinov, that was normal service uh, resumed for him. And uh, he looked mightily impressive. Yeah, good stuff from Emil. This is um, the interval, if you like, although there's a natural interview interval after every race. But every four heats is a natural interval, but quite clearly a little bit more time taken here for the big track grade. Yes, apparently so, um, but um, I do believe that uh, I think there was a little bit of a reaction after the last time, but here we see, we'll just, uh, riders just having to be a little bit more patient. They're ready. I think this is unexpected, Nigel. I do think this is something added on the back of the original track rating. World Championship points. Doyle is out here. He's in eighth. Needs to keep pushing on. As I say, a lovely ride last time, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a bad ride first time, but uh, five points for the next two rides. That's much more like it. We've got Smarslik on 50 points, deep in conversation with his brother there on the right. And uh, maybe he needs a bit more pizza. Just give him a bit more speed. I'm telling you it was pasta. Yeah, uh, well, maybe it was some of that linguine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, looked very tasty, whatever it was. But Kolodze nights, he's having a hell of a night. 37 points, he's in seventh now, he's made a significant move tonight. Very much so, and it's, it's really uh, good to see a man on form like that in the, shall we say, latter stages of his uh, Speedway career. Still a young man, relatively speaking, but shall we say a very experienced Speedway rider now, Janusz Kowadze, but we're building up to heat number 13, Wolfenham watching on. Got the wild card out here again as well. Heat number 13 on the way next.
here we go then, heat number 13 after the track grade. It's Maxim Drabek who started with a win, but uh, then has uh, been uh, trailed in at the back, the young man. Then it's Giannis Kowadze going off gate number two, Jason Doyle off three, and Patrick Dudek going off the outside gate. But Kelv, um, just for the benefit of our British viewers, you yeah. noticed something different with track prep there. Well, there was no doubt that it was a conversation in the pits, and they did some extra grading after the water bowser left the track. There is concern about uh, the surface, and uh, I do believe that um, the poles have actually stepped in there and made sure that uh, some of the material was pulled back over uh, where the watering had gone on, so we'll see how that affects it. Dudek out here has had an awful night so far. Needs to pick up his performance. Certainly hasn't worked for him coming out after every track grade, that's for sure. Yep, so here we go, heat number 13 it is. Can Doyle back up his stunning ride last time out? Can Kawadze continue his fantastic form here? What can Dudek do off the outside gate? Dravik's made a beauty off the inside. Watch out for Kawadze! Round the outside, but Dravik's really held a lovely line, and now here comes Dudek on the inside. Dudek trying the inside run! Patrick Dudek in the yellow helmet colour. Now Dravik coming back for more. Dudek will try the outside again wide into the dirt here, and now watch out for Kowadze! Oh, Dudek! Just about by the skin of his teeth! <laughs> Grabs himself to the front, three abreast, you had to breathe in down the back straight. Superb stuff. All of a sudden, Patrick Dudek is sorting himself out, and is flying out in front, doing his tail off at the back. Dravik looks uh, threatening in third place. Kowadze's form continues, but Patrick Dudek this is more like it from him out in front. Yeah, and how he needed this, Patrick Dudek. It's a huge race for him. Needs the victory, puts him onto five points. And Dravik almost loses it completely down the back straight. But that's more like it from Patrick Dudek in yellow. Giannis Kowadze in second spot there. And Maxim Dravik uh, takes third place. Jason Doyle pulled up. Yeah, it looks like some sort of issue there. Yeah. Not quite sure what it is. I packed up down the back straight, and that's disappointment for him after two solid rides. But big Pat result for this fella. Patrick Dudek bounces back big time. A little bit of track grading went on there, and that suited him down to the ground, didn't it? Yes. He absolutely exploded into action. He's had a terrible night so far. You can see Doyle just making sure an actual um, uh, did not finish is worse than a fourth place. So you yes. can understand why he wants to make sure he crosses the line. He does so. And as I say, is it a puncher? Not quite sure. No, no it's not. No, no puncher. So quite something uh, possibly mechanical has gone run, wrong there. But some um, uh, super ride from Dudek. Yes, and uh, just to clarify there, what Kelvin was saying about Doily finishing the race, that is better than a retirement where you don't complete the race, and that can come into play in a countback situation mm. where necessary. Giannis Kowadze now onto ten points. Leading the Grand Prix, Patrick Dudek sneaks into the top eight. He needed that all right. And uh, that's 13 heats gone. That's more like it from Patrick Dudek. Yeah, remaining calm, but uh, it has been a struggle. And as I say, coming out after the uh, track grading every time, Doyle's hard him in there on the first corner. Look at that shot. That is fantastic. And as they go down the back straight, Patrick Dudek then switching to the inside, and it works a treat because he gets the better of Drabik. Comes charging up the inside, look at this, allows the bike to run straight across in front of the opposition, and then hopes, keeps his fingers crossed that he can hold that first place. He does so, Kolodze follows him through, and uh, it's three poles against the Aussie, and uh, the poles went out three abreast down that back straight. That really was fabulous stuff with Kolodze coming through. Dravik rode hard here, picks up a point for the first time in three outings, moves on to four, but uh, Papa Dudek a little more happy um, after a couple of disappointing outings. Yeah, great stuff. Heat 13, good speedway. Patrick Dudek with a big win there. Five points, gives himself a chance of maybe, just maybe, sneaking a semi-final spot with a win in his last ride. We'll see. This is heat 14 now. Riders needing points here, big race coming up. Matty Zegar, who's had a real tough night tonight. He goes off the inside gate in red. He's not going to make the uh, semi-final. Matt Sejanovski still needs points on his home track. 
six points so far. Niels Christian Everson of Denmark, 8 3 in white, and Artem Laguta yep. outside in the yellow helmet colour, four points to his name. So Yanovsky off two, Laguta off four. They really do need points if they're going to progress through to the semi finals here in Wrocław tonight. This is heat number 14. Another big race coming up here. And that's a good start from Yanovsky off two. Watch out for Laguta now in the yellow helmet colour around the outside. Down the back straight, Laguta. He's got past Everson. Now he's going to dive into that third turn. Yanovsky needs to take him wide. But Laguta hanging on and clinging. Oh, Yanovsky closes the door. No way through. Mats Yanovsky there as Laguta continues to hunt him down. Zegar is third. Laguta not giving up. But holding that line is the home rider. What a ride it was. He's had three second places tonight. He's been passed every time he's hit the front. He was determined to block that move from Artem Laguta this time, and so it proved. He's down the pit end of the track. He's out in the dirt. They're queuing up behind him. They're into the last lap. Artem Laguta working hard in second place, but this will move Janoski onto nine points, and surely the semi final beckons for the homeboy. Yeah, this is a huge result, and the crowd. What a ride from Mats Ianowski! Flags being waved everywhere in the air. The Wrocław fans are delighted with that. Janowski, of course, who was a big favourite of the Pool Pirates and Kingsland in Swindon yeah. in the UK. And here he is on home territory. That is a big result for him, Kelv. Huge moment in the evening for the homeboy. Crowd have gone mad. Absolutely delighted with that. He wins his first race on the night, moving sweetly on to nine points. Janowski super in front. Yeah, Janowski the winner. Close that door on Laguta, just as Laguta looked like Shut he was coming door. round the outside. <laughs> Absolutely no way through. Janowski moves on to nine points now. He'll be in the semi finals, all right. And that was a terrific ride from a man who does need points to get it to the top eight. Yeah, it hasn't been a great season for him. That injury at the beginning really curtailed his momentum, big style. You see him here, he's out of gate number two. He gets the better of Zagar, hugs that inside and then elects to stay there pretty much and trust the fact that he will have just about enough grip to get the speed down the back straight. Laguta, look for all the set to go round the outside here, but Janowski, Pushes hard in this bottom corner, and the Russian just runs out of room here. That was tough, wasn't it? But you've got to be tough tonight because you hit the front, and all of a sudden you can really stamp your third. Oh, he's had to come out of the throttle there, a little bit untidy. Tough speedway, that's what we want to see. Yanovsky <laughs> out in front, determined to have a big say into the outcome of the Grand Prix here this evening. And for the first time, the homeboy wins the race. Clearly pleased. A tough way to do it, mine, but um, uh, there we go. Pretty solid, nine points, one race to come. Yeah, just a quick uh, mention, by the way, you mentioned it earlier on the night, Kel, that uh, we were at uh, Manchester on Monday in Bellevue for the British final. It was a great night, terrific speedway, and a big congratulations to Charles Wright, who's yes. the new British champion. It's a fairy tale story for Charles, and he will be the wild card at Cardiff, yes. riding alongside the likes of Matt Sienowski, Patrick Budek and Leon Madsen on September the 21st, uh, the night of Charles Wright's career, and it's a five o'clock start, tickets on sale right now. Make sure you get there to the Principality Stadium. Right, heat 15 here in Wrocław. Martin Vasilik off the inside, five points, needs points here. So does Freddie Lindgren off two, Frick off three, Ty Woffenden off the outside of his comeback meeting here tonight. And now that's a good start from Vasilik. Now, what can Lindgren do as Woffenden tries to come through the field, but charging hard down the back straight is Frick in white. Now Woffenden comes up into third. They're all bunched up here, but this is a terrific ride from Martin Vasilik. Woffenden looking over his shoulder, really challenging hard, tries to block the challenge of Lindgren, but they're, they're all over the place in terms of exchanging Frick. and passing. Frick. And now Frick at the inside, Frick. coming on strong! Oh, Martin Vasilik just about squeezes him up. Certainly Freddie Lingwin throwing the bike across in front of Woofen and Woofen and now coming back through into third place. Vasilik round the inside, Frick working overtime round the outside, roaring down the back straight. Vasilik just about controlling things. Head of a scrap for third place as well. Into the last lap, Frick stretching the throttle cable right round the outside. Can he make it work? Oh, he's gaining ground here. This is one last throw of the dice. He's going to try and kiss the air fence here. 
He's gone so wide into the dirt. Now the inside switch for Frick, but he's not quite going to get there. That's a Whoa. clever ride from Bachelet. And second place, Max Frick. Third place, Wolfenden gets the better of Freddie Lindgren there. Terrific ride from Martin Vachelik again in red. Brilliant. Under serious pressure uh, from Max Frick, who knows every inch of this track. <laughs> Superstar Martin Vachelik, well, once again rode, riding so well, so intelligently out in front, hanging on because Frick threw the kitchen sink at him. <laughs> Just a bit. Vachelik the winner, Frick second, Wolfenden was third there. And Freddie Lindgren at the back, that's a blow to Freddie. Yeah. Because now he's outside of the top eight with only one race to go. And could miss out on the semi-finals this evening. Wufferden won't make it, but of course, it's his first meeting in two months. I think well, we can forgive him for that. Exactly, and it's not really, it's, it's a Grand Prix. Yeah, so it's quite hard. Um, nah, it's, it's easy, this Grand Prix business. Uh, OK, have a chat with him afterwards no, and see what he says. No, I'll OK, that Martin Beschnick out in front. Max Frick rides very well in second place here. I thought for a long time that he was going to get to the front, but uh, credit to the... Uh, Slovakian rider because Martin Vasilik has ridden a stormer and he's enjoying a good night now Martin Vasilik he moves on to eight points from four rides a couple more points will be handy in his last one Frick now switching to the inside I thought for the world he was going to get up the inside of him but Martin Vasilik shows great composure here sweeping back across it look at this this is smashing stuff and uh, just shows you how brave you've got to be to be a speedway rider. And on a track like this, it really is breathtaking stuff. Hell of a battle for third, and Wuffenden finally gets the better of Lindgren. Oh, had to be quite forceful there. He meant that, didn't he? And, uh, yeah, I'm coming through, and uh, <laughs> he steals third place away. But uh, Martin Vasilik, well, yeah, consistent. Third win, third win. Uh, well, it's eight points. That's uh, the, but the, the situation. Two wins, the two wins are handy nights, aren't they? So this is a big race seat number 16. Every rider will have completed four outings after this one. Bartosz Marslik off the inside in red here. Six points, needs points here. So does Antonio Limbach off two. Emil Saifutin off, bounce back with a win. He's off gate three. And Leon Madsen, eight points out of nine. The top two riders in the world standings. Madsen on 55 and Saifutin off on 54. Right here off gate three and four. Brilliant Bartos Marslik off the inside as well. Oh, oh movement! Red lights on. Christopher Gardell, the referee. First time he's really been pulled into it. Certainly action there on the start line. Um, Antonio Limbach was moving, but it'll be interesting to see who actually gets the warning here. Might be Saifutinov. I thought I thought it was might. the outside gate three, maybe Emil. Yeah, I thought it Need might have been. Need to see it again, Kel, yeah, really. There's no doubt that Antonio was rolling a little bit. But Emil was yeah. looking across. Yeah. yeah, with Saifutinov, isn't it? Did he touch them? No. No, not quite. Warning for him. First one of the night. Mm -hmm. It is. And um, so, yeah, just a little bit uh, nervy on the start line. Hell of a lineup, of course, because Leon Madsen has been outstanding. And the two minutes is on, and Phil Morris will deliver the warning from the referee to Emil Saifutinov. I don't think anybody can argue with that. Emil doesn't look happy with it, does he? Can't believe he, it. If he watched the replays, I don't think he'd have any complaints at no, all. No, he did uh, jump on the start. And uh, Antonio Blimbeck did have a little bit of a movement, but... Um, uh, Emil was looking the other way, wasn't he? Yeah, 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 it's nothing to do with him, yeah, but uh, there's no right. doubt that uh, it was a nervy start because it's a hell of a race. Of the Those towering line. floodlight pylons that have survived the redevelopment here. Yeah, they have. They are the original pylons that were here in 1936. Wow. When this uh, stadium was built originally to be the sort of backup to the Berlin um, uh, Olympic Stadium. And, uh, it was never actually used, but um, uh, I'm quite handy it was built because um, uh, the speedway came here. Those floodlight pylons remind me of my old Subutio floodlights. <laughs> Do you have Subutio, Cal? Yeah, I did have a Subutio, but uh, I wasn't any good at it, mind. I just got <laughs> bored with it and just kicked it all over the place, I think. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Beautiful floodlights. I'm in love with them. OK. OK, well, you learn something every day. I really didn't know that about you, Nice, but... I, hey. love, I love old-fashioned floodlight pylons. Never mind all these football grounds that have 
lights in the grandstand roof. I get, I get the feeling they've had some new bulbs here, though. I think they might have done yeah, since 1936. Yeah. yeah, they've yeah. moved on since then. I think they have. Right, yeah. this is quite a good lineup. It Should is. We yeah. Focus on that. Yeah, Schmalzling, <laughs> Lindback. Then it's Emil Saifudinov. Then it's Leon Madsen off the outside in yellow. Here we go. Heat number 16. Emil's got to behave. He's on a warning. And he's been left standing there at the start. Smarslik has got there. That's a good start from Bartosz Smarslik. Now, what can Leon Madsen do? Saifutinov's in the mix now, charging hard, coming through. Here comes Emil Saifutinov, high and wide into the dirt on that turn three and four in the white helmet colour. Oh! oh Madsen just a pound. Oh, what a move. Avoid Smarslik. And here comes Emil Saifutinov. Here comes Saifutinov down the back straight. He's passed one. Oh! He's passed two. Russian rocket. Oh, Smarslik was ruthless with Madsen there, but that slowed the race down and Saifutinov was able to pounce. Brilliant move from the Russian down the back straight. So, Smarslik's back in second place. Madsen was beaten up there big time, but, but certainly Saifutinov, what a move. Well, he didn't make a start at all. Emil Saifutinov, I said he was left standing, not quite. But my <laughs> goodness, he picked one off, he picked another one off. And now he's going to take a big, big three points here and put him on to ten points. Emil Saifutinov, heat number 16, and that was some speedway race. Special speedway there, speedway out of the top draw from the Russian. Down the back straight, the shenanigans between Madsen and Smarslik just killed their momentum, left the opportunity open, and uh, Saifutinov pounced. A stunning move down the back straight from him. Superb stuff from Saifutinov once again, riding out of his skin tonight. Yep, and he's on to ten points, and he'll be in the semi-finals. No problem there. Third place to Leon Madsen. Here's the standings after four rides each. Now, look how tight it is for that eighth spot. Laguta and Limbach just about hanging on there. Saifutinov on ten, Madsen on nine. Dudek outside the top eight right now, and we'll have heat 17 very soon. Well, i uh, got to catch my breath here a little bit, Nights, because this was quite good. And um, <laughs> we'll see it again. As you say, he uh, he didn't make a very good start, did he, uh, Emil? He, uh, he missed it out. He had to sit still, of course. He's got the warning, and he missed out. Schmarslik initially has hit the front here with Madsen electing to ride on the inside as well. But watch Schmarslik here. He just carves up Madsen there, big time going down the straight. That just slows them up and leaves the door wide open and here comes Emil, roaring off that uh, wide line, and crikey, did he generate some speed. He flies to the front, here he comes. Spectacular move, we saw him do this in the final, of course, in Hulstavik, something very similar indeed, and that sealed the deal that night. He really is on a wonderful run of form. Calm these days, what a lovely fella too. He really is, and uh, could it be his year? He's looking like a champion, it's gonna be tough, of course, there's a lot of racing to go, but Recent weeks have certainly proved to be very successful for Emil Saifutinov. So, uh, heat number 17 will be coming up, and it is a big race indeed for Patrick Dudek in the red helmet colour, who is in that title race. He is, what, five points adrift of Emil Saifutinov. We go to Melilla in uh, a couple of weeks' time. Uh, the uh, spectacular racetrack there with big wide open banking and just hope the weather behaves itself yes. you know because you're right it is a fabulous track but uh, often we find that uh, we get rain there so we keep our fingers crossed that that stays away and we get a great Grand Prix we will do if it's if it's uh, if the weather behaves itself we'll have a look at the championship points here we see Sofutinov's now of course neck and neck with Madsen Madsen coming out for his fifth ride now and looking to try and Leapfrog uh, the Russian once again to lead the way. Smarslik solid with eight points, but Dudek, you've got to say, is hanging on by his fingertips tonight. If he can finish on eight points, that will be salvaging the very best from a, an awkward night. I don't think they've enjoyed it, coming out after the, the track raiding each time. That has presented problems, but uh, last time was uh, really impressive, so... Can uh, he produce something similar? Wasn't here, of course, yesterday. And, uh, and of course, he was uh, handed that draw. He didn't have a choice, so um, uh, quite possibly wouldn't have chosen it. So um, uh, hasn't, um, hasn't enjoyed the best. But you can say that uh, Leon Madsen wasn't here either. So um, 
him uh, he's enjoying a better night than Dudek. Yes, and um, these uh, grading breaks are longer than normal, has to be said, but uh, the boys there had had their, their helmets and goggles on for quite some time, just waiting to be pushed off, and here they are now. Uh, Leon Madsen on uh, nine points, two wins, a second and a third. So he will go into the semi-finals, whatever the outcome here, but the big focus will be on this fella, Patrick Duda. Dead okay, right, and he's already up at tapes, he wants to get on with it. He's had a tough night, Dudek has just outside the top eight at this moment, he's had a second two last and a, a win last time, so he'll be hoping the inside gate proves to be a winning one this time, Nigel. Yep, heat number 17 and the final round of four heats before we move into move the semi-finals, it's on the way. Here we go with heat number 17 then, Patrick Dudek going off the inside. Win or bust for Dudek, it seems here. Niels Christian Everson, just a one point to his name tonight, is off gate two. Leon Manson, nine points so far, he's off gate three. And Max Frick off the outside, Kelv with Dudek. Not quite sure that gate one is all that right now, when you bear in mind the no, outside run. It's going to be tough for him, he's going to make a big decision. Does he just commit to the inside run all the way round and hope that he can get enough speed coming off turn two? because they do come at you hard coming down the back straight from the outside. Plenty of track grading going on, of course. We've had an extended break once again. It'll be interesting to see how it works out. It worked out a lot better for him last time, certainly did. He hit the front and stayed there, but Leon Madsen is a major threat. Madsen coming from gate three, got beaten up last time by Smarslik and Saifutinov looking to bounce back. One point out of the lead for the championship, wants to leapfrog Saifutinov going into the semi-finals. Yes, here we go then with race number 17. New trace for Dudek off the inside gate. Here in Wrocław, it's round five of the Speedway Grand Prix, the World Championship Series. Here we go. And going into that first turn, Dudek has made a nice start. He can't do much more than that. And he's just going to hope that pinning the inside line does the job. Now Madsen's coming on strong. Leon Madsen going out wide, piling the pressure on. Dudek holding up an inside line right now. And now Madsen will come on strong again. Watch out for Leon Madsen in white. He goes out towards the fence. Has he got the speed? Has he got the drive? We know he's got both. Will he get there? Will Dudek make it hard for him? Madsen hanging on and trying to come through. Dudek hanging on in there as well. Oh! Madsen just about getting up the inside there, but Dudek read it beautifully. Oh, brilliant. What a bright from Patrick Dudek riding out of the top draw there. Really had to be at his best because Madsen was winding it on coming from the outside. Everson back in third and Frick out the back. Patrick Dudek showing great character here, bouncing back with two super rides. This is a stunning ride from Patrick Dudek under serious pressure. Madsen second. Coming down to the line, Everson gets a point in third. But that was a huge, wow. huge ride from Patrick Dudek, showing great bottle and character under pressure from Matson. Dead right, Nigel. He needed to deliver, and he does. Keeps himself well in the hunt. Two wins in his last two rides. Certainly bounced back to top form there. Superb ever from Matson, but crikey, it got tight. But Dudek, top draw stuff from him. Dudek from Madsen, from Everson, from Frick. And uh, Leon Madsen now on 11 points from five rides. Couple more points to his world championship tally. He's a point ahead of Saifudinov in the world title race. And Dudek now, that is a huge, huge result for Patrick Dudek in the red helmet colour. Off the start and he commits to the inside. I, I said he had a decision to make, he clearly made it. Trusted that he would just have enough speed. The boys with the freshly prepared track had to go very wide indeed. The middle of the track very greasy after the water that's gone down. But here you see two clearly di distinct lines. Madsen going for the outside. Dudek then realising he's going to have to block the move, kill the momentum. Move from that Dudek. was the moment that sealed the deal. You're dead right, Nige. And Dudek read it well. Right at uh, the timing was perfect. Everson in third place. Frick desperately trying to get amongst the points. But Dudek there, that was a very clever ride. Difficult conditions, but certainly he proved 
that he was able to uh, come up with the goods. Back-to-back -back wins might just be enough. Might be. Yes, terrific stuff from Patrick Dudek. Eight points and uh, puts him into the top eight tonight. And uh, he's at level on eight now with Vachelik and Smarslik. And here is Bartosz Smarslik. And he's off gate one as well, like Dudek was in the previous race. He'll need to produce something similar here. Zegar with some last-minute bike work here. Just changing the ignition there, Less Nigel. than 30 seconds to be up at takes, ready to go. It's been a desperate night for Zegar. Just got two points from four rides. Got that exclusion, of course, yeah. which didn't help. No, it didn't, but um, hasn't really got going. So um, just making a bit of a tweak to his setup, coming up to tapes. He's there now. Yes, here we go with the lineup then. Bartosz Marslik off the inside gate. Eight points to his name. Scores here, he'll be in the semi-finals. Zegar, Drabik and Vachelik on eight points as well. Here we go, he's number 18. And away from the start, Smarslik's made a good one. Now watch out for Vasilik in yellow as he goes high into the dirt. And coming through in right. Oh my goodness me, Maxim Drabik, they're all bunched up. Smarslik has been moved to one side, he's in the back now. Smarslik in the back and Vasilik, and now Smarslik, last oh. to first in one move. Oh, oh. Incredible move from Smarslik. Now Vasilik's back up the inside. Drabik's on the back wheel, down the back straight. <laughs> Smarslik now around the outside, hits the front. Incredible action for the first two laps. Martin Vasilik momentarily again. Smarslik, where did he come from there? Well, he turned Sweet. left on him. He did. And uh, he turned turn it right. It is indeed. Very, uh, very wise move from Smarslik <laughs> to turn left. Speedway's all about that. Smarslik into the last lap. It's ridden out of the skin to get there. Vasilik steady in second place, but Smarslik will move on to 11 points now. Yep, he's into the semi finals. Martin Vasilik is. Uh, joining him as well, and uh, Dravik, who led the race early on, has finished stone last. Can you believe it? Wow, what Unbelievable a race again. speedway, yes, here in Wrocław. Unbelievable stuff. Dead right. Smarslik and Martin Vasilik putting on a fabulous show there. Riders really having to dig deep, think on their feet effectively because you've got to go inside, outside. Desperately trying to stop the run and momentum of the other rider, but Smarslik this time with that. Stunning move, hits the front, picks up a big win there. Yeah, level on 11 with Matson now at the top of the leaderboard. But uh, Saifutinov and Kowadze are on 10 and they have a race in hand. So Smarslik and Matson lead on 11. All about getting in the top eight, remember. And it has to be said that it's looking good for Dudek to sneak in after that win in heat number 17. Yeah, could be. Artem de Guta possibly could leapfrog him if uh, he wins his last outing, but we'll wait and see. Here we see the first corner again. Of course, Smarslik now drifting across the track, finds himself swamped with riders as they get down to the end of the back straight. He comes across here, look at that. Brilliant stuff. Martin Vasilik just able to switch his line to the inside at the vital moment. Dravik hits the front, but he can't stay there. Uh, he gets relegated to the back. Martin Vasilik there working hard. Here we see it again, but <laughs> incredibly, Smarslik goes from last to first in less than half a lap there. That really was stunning stuff. Martin Vasilik then into it. Drabik on the back wheel. It's all action stuff. And Smarslik then really is having to work oh. hard here because he comes off the outside and then sweeps across the front. There we see it. They're going to that first corner for the third time. So a great effort from the pole. Martin Vasilik riding strongly as well and disappointment for Drabik, but... Smarslik, 11 points, he'll be pleased with that. Yeah, what a night here in Wrocław. Sensational speedway. Bartosz Smarslik on 11 points. Great stuff from him. Third in the world title hunt right now on 55. Level with Dudek. And right now there are three points, in fact four points, separating the top five in the world. Brilliant. Lindgren inside. Kowadze off two, what a night he's had again. Janowski off three, delighted the crowd in his last outing. Antonio Lindback, we've seen glimpses of the best of Lindback tonight. He's off the outside in yellow. Some atmosphere here, by the way. Yeah, and here, just confirmation, 58 Madsen, Vasilik in fifth on 54. Four points between five riders. 
in the world title race. This is brilliant stuff. Heat 19 away into that first turn. Lindgren has got there. Now, who's going to make the first move out into the dirt? Kawadze is going to give it a real go. Now, here comes Link back up the inside. Kawadze charges through. Janowski's at the back, but Janowski is looking for the gap up the inside here. Matze Janowski, but Kawadze has that lead. Magnificently here for the pole. Superb stop again from uh, Kawadze. Janowski's working overtime. They were chanting his name as they build up for the race. He's come Ooh. through. Freddie Lingwin, another big move from him. Antonio Lindbeck replaced the compliment back up the inside. It's all action here. It's all going on, and they're all in it. Unbelievable <laughs> stuff once again. Kolodze's having a great night. It's tough to be way at the back, that's for sure. But Janos Kolodze into the last lap. He's comfortable. He's going to win another race tonight. Janowski working overtime in second place. Well, Karonze is going to lead the Grand Prix on 13 points with one race to go, heat number 20. That's coming next. But Janos Karonze and Matt Janowski lead the way. The Poles are absolutely lapping this up tonight. They're going balmy in the crowd. They absolutely love it. Fans of all ages here in Wrocław tonight. Loving every wow. minute of this. What a night for Giannis Kolodze, producing some stunning riding again. Clearly the conditions have suited him down to the ground. And uh, moving on to 13 points, that's a fabulous effort from him. Janowski working so hard for second place. Yeah, and Limbach third and Freddie Lindgren at the back, but a tough night for Freddie. And here we see now Limbach into eighth place on seven points. But then we have Artem Laguta, on six and Jason Doyle on five going into heat number 20 just hovering outside the top eight yeah interesting to see if Laguta wins it well he will then leapfrog him but we'll see this again spectacular stuff Giannis Kolodze I tell you what he really has got that bike hooked up brilliantly initially it's Freddie off the inside goes sweeping across but that then leaves that door open and Kolodze pounces Janowski also hugging the inside and uh, he then comes through into second place with Antonio Limbach then battling hard with Freddy, the two Swedes really working hard for just for a solitary point. Janowski, well, he's had a lot of second places. I think he's had four second places tonight in a win, so pretty consistent, but um, he'll be looking for a touch more speed because Kolodze, well, he is looking like a winner tonight, that's for sure. Really is going great guns. Yes, fantastic speedway. And Kawadze on 13 points. He started the night outside the top eight in the World Championship. He's now well and truly in the top eight. He's not now. On 42 points. He's gone into the seventh. Seven ahead of Matze Janowski. So a, a big night for Magic, you know, to miss the first round, of course, this year. And here's a fellow who's missed two rounds, Ty Wolfenden. And what about Emil Saifudinov going off the outside gate in the yellow helmet colour? He's seen Madsen. Have a great night and go on to 11. But Emil himself is on 10 yep. and only a point behind Madsen in the title race. It's Ty Wuffenden, got two world champions on the inside gate and then two world champions on the outside from the Speedway of Nations. Ty Wuffenden, Jason Doyle, Artem Laguta and Emil Saifudinov. A good. terrific lineup for heat number 20. Yeah, very good lineup. World champions everywhere. We're spoilt here, aren't we? This is going to be some race, I'm sure. Saifudinov looking for a win to top the charts. of the qualifying heats, if you like. Wolfenden's made a nice start there off the inside, but watch out for Emil Saifutinov. Now Wolfenden goes wide, but has Saifutinov got the drive up the inside? Wolfenden just went on one wheel there. That has allowed Saifutinov through. Smart move, and Wolfenden's come back for more. Wolfenden getting back into the groove now here. And Emil Saifutinov tries the inside switch down the back straight. He's got the speed. What a race between these two guys. Brilliant stuff. 2013 all over again when these two boys went head to head for the title. Wuffenden up the inside. No! Won't quite get there. Saifutinov just about. Oh, Doyle's in the goose. Yeah, tight for third and fourth. Wuffenden coming on again in that second place. We've got just over a lap to go. Saifutinov in front. Artem Lagoot is searching to try and get through in the second place. Great speedway again here. Wolfenden getting drive and speed there. Now he's going to try one last roll of the dice into the dirt. Has Emil done enough? Perhaps he has here now as Wolfenden charges hard, but Emil wins comfortably in the end. Great stuff from Saifutinov, the Russian rocket.
brilliant step from him, and he moves on to 13 points and leads alongside Giannis Kouadze yeah. going into the semi-finals tonight. That was good speedway between those two. Terrific uh, demonstration of top-class speedway there between two world-class riders. And certainly Emil Saifutinov is riding superbly well, looking for another win this evening. Breathtaking stuff here in Wroclaw. Saifutinov, Woffenden, Laguta and Doyle, and Dudek has made the semis. Well, Ty Woffenden now just uh, applauding the crowd. He's given it his all, of course. He uh, hasn't been on a bike for two months. Coming back into this arena really is quite a challenge indeed, and he's done a pretty decent job. He's riding tomorrow in Torrent, and by the end of next week he will have had at least two or three meetings under his belt, and he'll be getting himself back into race fitness and sharpness. So good to see him back on the bike. Hasn't quite been his night, but um, we'll see much more from the champion, that's for sure. Let's see Heat 20 again. It's... Um, a good, a good uh, initial start from Wuffenden on the inside, but there's no doubt that Sam Emil Saifutinov is fired up. And it's a terrific display of real class stuff. There you see Wuffenden slamming against the dirt, up against the fence, down the back straight, gets a little bit of extra drive. But uh, Saifutinov there allowing the bike to run across in front of the champion. Champion squares it off, hits the front again. It's like poetry in motion, this it's is. Brilliant, it's brilliant, isn't it? Almost like ballet, this is. Really? And, yeah, I do believe so, yes. And um, a strange form of ballet, I would say. It's a stretch, but I'm the going there. Loudest and, ballet uh, ever. Heard. Yeah, well, you know, a bit of noise don't do any harm. But there we go, and we'll Saifutinov, the Russian. Well, he is enjoying a wonderful um, uh, period of form. It's great when you're riding like that, it just seems so easy. Yeah, and he uh, retakes the lead in the World Championship. Two points, 60 points yeah. he hits now, Knight. That's, That's great. Right. And uh, 58 to Madsen. We see the Smarslik on 55. Dudek 50. Dudek's done well. He, has. he was looked like he was out of it, didn't he? Those yeah. two zeros in his second and third ride. Martin Baslik hanging in there. Lingren's had a hard night. Kolodze, though, that's a really good move from him. And uh, Jason Dog not quite being able to put a really big Grand Prix together at the moment. Yeah, I think Janowski will probably overtake him with a race in the semi-finals here, but we'll see. And um, it really is a fascinating world championship. We just await confirmation from the FIM jury uh, as to the semi-finalists. It does look as though seven points will well, be enough for Lindback. Uh, I spoke, spoke to you about it earlier, about race wins. Yeah. And that proves to be very important for Antonio Lindback. Seven points to get into the semi-finals with two race wins for Antonio. We're waiting for the boys just to get themselves organised for the uh, the picks, of course, for the semi-finals. It's been a good night of speedway. It's been brilliant, Kel. It really has been. Here and we now, go, then. Yep, it's time to find out the lineup for the two semi finals. Let's hand down to Kiri. Well, the atmosphere continues to buzz down here as our four riders line up for semi final one. So, Emil Saifudinov, when you are ready, you have first pick and he heads straight for Red Gate. Okay, Leon Madsen just having a look, just having a ponder at uh, those uh, gates. And uh, he's putting his clipboard down and heading over to pick his gate. Gates two, three, or four. Leon is yours. I think he's going to head to yellow, as he says. And he picks, uh, well, he's just having a moment. Just having a ponder there, Leon. It is a tough decision. All the pressure counts on this semi final. OK, and then he chooses gate four. Yellow gate, gate four for Leon Madsen. Okay, Martin Vashlik heading straight in. I think he knows what he wants. It is gate two for Martin. Patrick Dudek, that is your gate chosen for you. That is gate three, white gate for Patrick Dudek. Okay, that is uh, your semi final uh, one chosen there for you. Just to remind you, Emil in red gate, Leon yellow, Martin blue, and Patrick Dudek in white. Okay, we're lining up our next four riders, and it is Yanis Kolodzi with first choice. So, Yanis, when you are ready, I think he knows where he wants to go. It is a red gate uh, for Yanis. Okay, Bartos. 
when you are ready there, Bartosz Smarslik heading over to pick a yellow gate set there. And then it is a magic, magic. Well, he's got two choices left. Is it blue or white? So magic Janoski, where does he go? Where does he go? Again, it is a long choice for him. <laughs> I'm not sure he knows either. A little liquid back to see which gate. And there we go, white gate uh, for Magic. OK, so Antonio Limbach, the choice has already been made for him. It is a blue gate two for Antonio Limbach. OK, so that is your semi-final uh, two chosen. Yanis Glodzi with red. It is Bartos with yellow. Magic Janoski in white and Antonio Limbach in blue. That's semi-final one and two. And uh, we can now hear from Ty Woffenden with Kiri. Well, Ty, just before semi-final one starts, you've come back to form pretty strong tonight. Yes, uh, you know, when you chuck yourself into the deep end, you actually don't appreciate the level that we ride at in this championship when you're mid-season. Um, so me coming in after having a two-month break, it's like, wow, like, these guys are fast. But well, I'm normally that guy, so um, heaps of positives to take away from today. Learn heaps, learn a lot about my own track that I've raced for eight years. Um, enjoyed myself and the points I scored I wouldn't have scored and um, you know I wasn't meant to be riding Thursday morning and then Thursday afternoon I was so uh, yeah I'm stoked. Fantastic good to have you here Ty thanks. Cheers. Yeah great attitude and um, uh, there'll be much more for him to come. Yeah good to see Ty Wolfen and back on a bike as we build up to the first semi-final here and in the title race the leader, Amal Saifudadar, from 60 points, two ahead of Leon Madsen. And they are both in action in this first semi-final. Wow, what a lineup! Emil Emel off the world championship leader, goes off the inside. Gate number two is Martin Vasilik, who's fifth in the world standings right now. Patrick Dudek fourth in the world standings right now and Leon Madsen second place in the world championship two points behind the man on the inside Emil Seidfudinov what a fascinating lineup it is yeah, it's a tough lineup not easy to call this Seidfudinov doesn't hesitate he went straight for the inside Madsen went for the outside Dudek was left with gate three and we saw briefly the stats on the starts gate three has only had one winner so far tonight so Dudek once again up against it, but he's done really well to get this far. Martin Vasilik riding strongly as well, but uh, certainly Madsen and Saifutinov, the top two in the World Championship, going head-to-head -head here in the first semi-final. Hell of a race in front of us here, Nigel. Yeah, it's been a wonderful night of Speedway, and we have the semi-finals and the final to come here in Wrocław. The halfway stage of the World Championship, round number five, and who's going to get there? It's a very tight first turn. Can they all stay on the bike? They can, and Vashevik is there. And now here comes Madsen in yellow! Leon Madsen comes through! Vashevik has that lead in blue. Then it's Leon Madsen tries the inside run. Now here comes Dudek round the outside of side boot. And Madsen takes the lead. This is unbelievable speedway as Vashevik comes back for more. Oh, man. Martin Veselink and Madsen, Madsen riding superbly well. Martin Veselink forcing Madsen wide as they leave the door open for Saifutinov. Not quite. Hell of a race out in front. Saifutinov just hugging the inside line. Will it pay off? Madsen once again pushing hard. Dudek round the outside. Has his chance gone? We're into the last Look lap. How close oh, they are. There's not much choose between the, the four of them. Martin Baslik and Madsen down the back straight. Well, the two up front are looking good at this stage. We're in the closing stages of semi final one. Martin Baslik from Leon Madsen and Side Fukinov takes third. So that's Side Fukinov the leader and Dudek out of the final. Wow, Martin Vasilik and Leon Madsen threw the bike at each other there. Great respect between the boys. Look at that, that's Superb. great to see. Superb race, Nigel. Once again, Madsen just going through and enjoying the race. We got a bit close there, boys. We did indeed. We had to just uh, breathe in a touch once or twice. Super racing and here's semi-final number two. Got a feel for Saif Butinov, he misses out after scoring 13 points. Scores 14 on the night but um, uh, won't make the final, nor will Dudek. And a lap of honour for Patrick Dudek and Emil Saifudinov. I'll tell you what, at the end of the night, all 16 should come out and do a lap of honour, because this has been one heck of a speedway meeting. Patrick Dudek salutes the crowd on the back straight, 
and uh, really had Ty Woffenden with his lap of honour earlier as well was superb to see. Vasilik and Madsen, our first two finalists for the Betard Wrocław FIM Speedway Grand Prix of Poland. Wow, what a night of speedway. It has been uh, thoroughly enjoyable, that's for sure, and Emil Saifutinov has ridden very well and he'll be disappointed not to make the final. Really just got trapped on the inside there. Martin Vasilik, great effort from him. He wants to see the replay. Emil doesn't get away well. He spins up on the inside and it's tight and argy-bargy in the first corner between Vasilik and uh, Dudek there. They now touch. there, you could throw a blanket over all four of them. You could indeed. And uh, you see the commitment and the determination from Vasilik to get to the front. And he does. Madsen once again not getting off the line very well, but the speed he's got, he comes charging through into second place. I thought for a moment he was going to be able to win this race, but incredibly, Martin Vasilik rides really strongly and he's able to keep the Danish man back in second place. Took it's, him wide here, Kel. Yeah, he had to. He had to kill his momentum. Oof. I thought at that stage, yeah, it was tough, wasn't it? We've seen one or two tough moves tonight, that's for sure. Just respect each yeah, other. Yeah, great racing between the two of them. Safe conditions, really racing close. Um, great move from Martin Vasilik. Here he just uh, chuffed a bit to be in the final. Well, well, well. Speedway at its best. A wonderful sport. And uh, we love it when it's like this. We had a great night in the UK and Manchester and Bellevue on Monday for the British final. We followed it up by coming here tonight as well. Wherever you are in the world, uh, get along to your local track and give Speedway a try. It's a fantastic sport, we love it. And we're up to semi-final two here. Janusz Kowadze off the inside. Then it's Antonio Limbach, gate two in blue. Matze Janowski, gate three in white. Can he produce a bit of magic to go with his nickname? And Bartosz Smarslik is off the outside gate in yellow, currently fourth in the world standings. Mm. And it really is a fascinating lineup here, Kel. Indeed it is. Janowski once again being charted by the crowd, desperate to make the final tonight. Here we go. Away from the start, Kowadze has got there from gate number one. Watch out for Smarslik in yellow now. He's made it look easy there. He's got across the outside. And now here comes Janowski on the inside. Is there any way through on Kowadze? The poles really. Uh, putting it on the line here now, and Kowadze holds second spot. Smarslik has the lead. Kowadze is second. Is there a gap there for Janowski down the back straight? Yes! yes! Oh, incredible there. Kowadze just losing momentum, leaving the door open. And uh, Matze Janowski took the opportunity and he's through. Smarslik's away. He's comfortable out in front. He's looking like a finalist. And Janowski, can he hang on to second place? Well, where does Janowski go? He's going high into the dirt here. Is that the right way? Kowadze no! just passed him. Oh, now Janowski has no! repassed him. Wow. Now Kowadze tries the inside. Keep oh. the wow's coming, Kel. Wow. Brilliant stuff. <laughs> I'll do it again. Wow. Wow. Janowski around the outside. The chance to the line. Which way is it going to go? Oh. Incredible speedway in semi-final two. Janowski and Kolodze literally swapping places every corner. Smarslik unaware of the fireworks that were going on behind him. Disappointment for Janowski in the end. Um, Kolodze, who has had a great night, just hanging on to second place there. What a race that was. And Blimey. another lap of honour, this time for Janowski. Yeah, this will be good. He's a very popular man here. Lives here, of course, born here. He was uh, a spectator here in uh, 2007 when the last Grand Prix was held. And uh, this night, I'll tell you what, the final's got some living up to do, isn't it? We've seen a couple of decent semi-finals there, that's for sure. Well, any, anybody who says Speedway is just all about gate and go, whoever makes the start yeah. wins the race. Not yeah. tonight. No, not tonight at all. Janowski's ridden strongly. Disappointed, of course, not to make the final, but for Smarslik and Kowadze, their night continues. Smarslik and Kowadze make the final. Martin Vasilik and Leon Madsen join them, and that will be coming up in a few moments' time. Wow! Wow, yeah, we've had a few of those <laughs> this evening, and uh, <laughs> rightly so, because Smarslik was outstanding here. 
Going from the outside gate, he uh, gets the better of the opposition initially here through that first turn, and the bike works great. But the battle between uh, Kolodze and uh, Janowski is, um, is genuine world class. They, they must have passed each other about three or four times easily. I thought, I thought for a while Kolodze had this all under control, but he then just drifts wide a little bit. I think it's now, that's it there. And uh, Janowski's then able to get up the inside. But fair play to Kolodze, he didn't throw the towel in, did he? He came back at Janowski, and it was a hell of a tear up for second place. And uh, the veteran Polish rider, Kolodze, comes through and gets the better of the hometown favorite just by about half a length there. But uh, it was a hell of a dust up. Smarslik looking like a potential winner. And um, it's going to be good to, to see how he goes in the final. But this scrap for second and third really was good. Janowski will be disappointed. He gets so close. And of course, he would have been desperate to make the final at his home club. But it's not to be tonight. But this is a significant moment for Bartosz Schmalzlik. He's up to third in the World Championship. And he's on 58 points. Saifutinov is not in the final. So he can draw level with Saifutinov. And uh, Martin Vashalik also can really close in on the top. It's awfully tight at the top there, that's for sure. Look at it. 61, 60, 58, 57. Dudex on 55. Mm. He started the night as joint series leader. Um, and he's now six off the lead. Yeah, it's an incredible night. But I'll tell you what, if eight or nine points is the worst you're going to do over the course of the season, you've still got a half a chance. You know, he hasn't had a great night, but he dragged it back with those vital wins in his fourth and fifth outings. Credit to him for that. Smile slick, though, this is a move, a significant move, particularly if he can win. But Leon Madsen is still a very dangerous man, and Martin Vasilik is looking really good as well. Tough to call this final. Gate position will play its part. But the overtaking we've seen tonight has been outstanding. And um, I've got to say, the track has held up brilliantly. And the fans have loved it. And so have we. You know, if it's like this every week, um, uh, it really is a pleasure to be shouting and screaming about it. It really is. Yes, the crowd in a real carnival type atmosphere tonight. We are just awaiting news of when the riders can go and pick. In fact, we can do that now. Let's find out which gate positions for the final. Here's Kiri. Well, the crowd's just quietening down after Magic departing for just one sec. Our four boys lined up and ready. Bartosz Smarzlik, when you are ready, he knows what he wants. It is at yellow gate that Bartosz heads over to. He is in a rush indeed. Martin Vasilik chooses at gate one, red gate. OK, Yanis Kolodzi, when you are ready, Two more gates left, and it is. He knows what he wants. He wants uh, the blue gate, which, Leon, means your gate is chosen already. It is uh, the white gate uh, for Leon Madsen. So Martin Vashlik picks red gate. Leon uh, Madsen picks white gate. Uh, Bartosz Smarzik yellow, and Yanis Kolodzi has picked that blue gate there. That is your final. Well, an exciting final to look forward to. One or two uh, big hitters just missing out in Saifutinov. And... Um, Certainly, um, Matsley Janowski will be disappointed not to have made it, and Patrick Dudek, but um, fair play to Vasilik. Kolodze, possibly a surprise tonight, but uh, has ridden superbly well to make his way to the final. Schmarslik on the outside there, chose it without any hesitation. He wanted gate four, and he got it, and he won the semi-final nicely from there. Can he reproduce that in the final? Wouldn't put it past him, he's looking for a win. Uh, he's dug in. Leon Matson in gate three, another dangerous rider, of course. Terrific lineup. We can hear from uh, Matze Janowski now, who's with Kiri. Magic still not bad collecting some of those points. The fans absolutely love you here, either way. Yeah, I'm very appreciated. Um, you know, I would love to be in the final, but uh, I was not enough quick and maybe not enough smart in the, la in the last hit. Um, but that was an amazing night, for sure. Yeah, for sure, indeed. Well, like I said, a good collection of points still keeping you in the mix there. Yeah, that was uh, the most important, collect uh, more points. Um, I can be happy with the points, but um, if I want to, if I think about much better position, I will need to collect uh, much more. So um, I wait for the next round. Okay, thanks, Magic. Thank you.
but he hasn't done too badly because um, uh, Janowski's moved into eighth place in the championship now, so that's a good move from him. Kolodze has gone forward, Doyle has dropped down, and um, there's no doubt that um, uh, it's awfully tight both at the top and in that middle pack as well, but Janowski has moved forward, and uh, he's more than capable of... Um, uh, uh, with the upcoming Grand Prix, he knows how to win anywhere, so um, uh, it's certainly uh, he will use this possibly as a bit of a um, uh, sort of a base to move on from. But uh, the final yeah. beckons Nigel, and uh, it's quite a line up. Um, uh, Kolodze, I would say, is, is a, a bit of a surprise package. I wouldn't have predicted him to make the final tonight, but he's ridden very well. And he wins. It's two Grand Prix wins in five rounds of the World Championship. And he's in seventh in the World Championship. He is on 44 points. He could actually catch Freddie Lingham with a win here. Yep. So he's done very well tonight. Here we go. Boys are on their way out for the uh, off time, yep. final, final episode of this evening's entertainment. What a story it's been. Yes, it has. It's been brilliant. Uh, the man there in the uh, camouflage outfit will be coming out. Could well be his second win of the season. He's won the Polish Championship, won in Prague, and he won in fine style that night. And, uh, can he win in Wrocław here? And uh, a beautiful evening. Boys up at tapes. Terrific final ahead. Yes, it's a terrific lineup. Who will be the World Championship leader going into Melilla in a couple of weeks' time? We know that Emil Saifudinov cannot just do anything here in the final. All he can do is stand and watch. And the culmination of a terrific night of speedway is on the way. It's the grand final here in Wrocław, and it's Martin Vasilik, the Slovakian, off the inside gate. Janusz Kowadze, can he make it two Grand Prix wins in five rounds? He's off two. Leon Madsen, a point behind Emil Saifutinov in the title race. He's off gate number three. And Bartosz Marslik, three points behind Emil Saifutinov in the title race. He's off the outside gate. Well, the three boys on the outside gates are all looking for their second win this year yes. in the Grand Prix series. So um, quite possible on the odds that one of them will do it. Of course, Martin Vasilik may have something to say about that, who rode so well in the semi-final to uh, make sure that Madsen was kept behind him. He's ridden very, very, very smart, hasn't he, uh, tonight, the Martin Vasilik. He's covered all the moves from the opposition coming at him from behind, and uh, he's riding well this year. Hell of an artist speedway, we've thoroughly enjoyed it. We've got 65-odd uh, seconds to come. Action pack, let's hope. Yes, it's a massive lineup here in the grand final, the halfway stage of the World Championship. Madsen has made the start and the lights have not come on. The race continues. Madsen made a real quick start there. Fashion and Catalina right now. Watch out for Sparslick in yellow! Oh, what a move from Sparslick, like a torpedo going into turn three on the opening lap. Just at the inside of Martin Vasilik took him by surprise. And Madsen's out the back. Thought he might have had a roller, but he's penalised himself in the end. But what a move from Smarsley. He's hit the front like he did in the semi-final. Coming from the outside, Colonso back in third place. Can Madsen do anything about it? Can he get himself on the rostrum? Smarsley with a win here will be level with Saifukanov in the World Championship. Madsen. But Madsen's come through into third. And now Colonso is going to try and return the compliment. One lap to go here. Smarsley has the lead. Vasilik is second. Then it's Leon Madsen in third. A point for Madsen will put him level with Saifukanov. But once again, we're going to go into the next round of the World Championship with three riders level on points at the top. It's Bartosz Smarsley who takes the victory. Wow. Martin Vasilik second, then it's Leon Madsen third, and that means that Smarslik is on 61 points. Also, Emil Saifurkinov and Leon Madsen all on 61 points, a three-way tie at the top of the World Championship at the halfway stage, and it's many congratulations to that fella. Brilliant, brilliant, Bartosz Smarslik. What a night for Bartosz Smarslik. It was a three-way tie coming into tonight on 47 points. It's still a three-way point, not all the same protagonists, but 61 points leads the championship. Smarslick's move down the back straight was sensational. He just
just torpedoed the opposition and fired himself to the front. Madsen couldn't quite get there. Kolodze just misses out on the rostrum. A little disappointment for him. But joy for Smarslik. What a night for him. Smarslik the winner, Vachilik second, Madsen third. Kowadze at the back on that occasion. Three riders level in the World Championship. But Smarslik is the winner here tonight after a stunning night of speedway in Wrocław. Do you what, know, Nigel? I just saw the heat time. 64 and a half seconds. That's possibly the fastest time of the night in the last race. 23 the races. That was unbelievable stuff. And the move down the back straight from this man, well, that on its own deserved to win. He was struggling a little bit early on, not quite there, and you sensed he was looking for a bit more. But uh, the rides in the semi-final and the final really were top stuff. We saw that start from Madsen. I think he was a little bit fortunate to get away with there, but actually, he then gets himself in the wrong place in the first corner. Doesn't really utilize it. And uh, you just see him get carved up. Just finds himself there with Smarslik coming around the outside. Vasilik on the inside with Kolodze, forces him wide, but this is the move. It is stunning. He just squares it off. Long, long straight and woof! Here he comes. Martin Vasilik knew what was going to happen, moved out of the way, had to. And from that moment on, there was only going to be one winner. Good scrap with Leon Madsen coming through into third place. Madsen, who got uh, just out battled in the first corner on the opening lap. Madsen pushing hard with Martin Vasilik, who has ridden superbly well, and he hangs on for second place. So very tight. 61 points leads the championship, Nigel, but there are three of them on it. Yes, and we have five rounds to go. We move on to Sweden and Milella in a couple of weeks' time, but it really is a fascinating title race. Yeah. And Bartosz Marslik can hardly believe it. He's absolutely thrilled to bits. Second win of the year, of Second course. Second win of the year, yeah. Yeah, he won in Slovenia and uh, rode well that night, but uh, here this evening has really turned it around. Gorzhov fans here tonight, and he is a Gorzhov rider, of course. And that is brilliant, absolutely brilliant from Bartosz Marslik this evening. Crowd absolutely loving every minute of this. Mm, nobody's left. And uh, they're all yeah. going to watch the presentation. It's going to be quite stunning scenes here. And, and the Rostin. fireworks, but and we've the... had plenty of fireworks oh, on the track. Oh, crikey, yeah, they've had fireworks all night, and there's more to come, of course. <laughs> but uh, there's no doubt that this has been a superb night of Speedway. Let's hear from our winner, Bartosz Marslik, with Kiri. Bartosz, congratulations. What a fight to the finish. The fans love you. Answer their cheers. Dobry wieczór wszystkim. To dla was zrobiłem i taki wieczór mi się właśnie dzisiaj marzył. Dziękuję wam bardzo. Okay, and Bartosz, for all of our viewers in English now. What a night. Uh, this uh, this night is uh, unbelievable for me and uh, but I stand up today on the bed and I I think so today so no bad uh, day and I feeling yeah, and now I'm very happy. <laughs> Congratulations, Bartos. Thank you very much. Dziękuję wam bardzo wszystkim. Brilliant night for him. Yes. Quite clearly felt that he got out the right side of the bed this morning. That's for sure. And the eggs and bacon clearly have worked a treat. And the Italian at lunchtime has just uh, given him the power and energy to go through and win tonight. 61 World Championship points. What a night. Two points separate the top four. Six points to separate the top five. Crikey. Who's well, going to win the world title, Kel? Well, I fancied Smarslik at the beginning of the year. Yes. I'm going to st stick with him. But there's no doubt that Saifutinov will have uh, something to say. And Leon Madsen's very much in the mix as well. But um, hell of an art of speedway. That's what it's all about. Can't beat that level of entertainment. And uh, the crowd have loved it. And with a Polish winner. It uh, gives it that added spice, an extra special feeling for these people who just love the sport. Great reaction. He's not a not a home rider. He's not from this neck of the woods, of course. He's up further up country in Gorzhov. But uh, nonetheless, this is actually he's a pole and it actually replaces his Grand Prix, doesn't it? But uh, he yes. comes here and wins in fine style. Yeah. Congratulations, Bartosz Marslik of Poland.
Another rendition, of course, we had it at the beginning of the night. Yeah, twice we've heard that we, tonight. We, we have indeed. <laughs> We're getting used to that. We might have to get uh, used to it a lot more if this man keeps uh, that sort of uh, form up. Oh, Mats and Cocky, he forced his way onto the rostrum, didn't he, with that move with, uh, against uh, Koloche. But, uh, one of the sponsors giving... Uh, Artos just uh, an added gift there. But, um, where we've got the official trophies to come now. Uh, we see. Third place on the night, Nigel. Leon Matson. Yeah, tremendous consistency, mate. Absolutely. Uh, again, his championship winning form. Matson's not going away. No, another solid score of 14 points tonight for Leon. And uh, it's a great effort from him. Mm. So. Martin Vasilik has written quite beautifully and it's great to see him in such great form. He's a smashing guy, Martin Vasilik. Yeah. Runner up tonight here in Wrocław. Only two points out of the lead. Absolutely, mate. 59 points. Five rounds to go. Yeah, he's in there fighting. He's very much in the mix. And uh, Smarslik, two Grand Prix wins. Joint leader of the championship. Martin there, chuffed a bit. Road last night, of course, Martin. Yep. Had the uh, dash across country to be here today. Smarslik delighted, his name is announced, and here comes the prize, the trophy. The president of Wrocław making that presentation. Great city here. Mm. Really is a great weekend. Delighted to be here, but not as delighted as Barta Smarslik. And his fans, no, who've uh, just witnessed something special. But I think it's fair to say, well done to all 16 riders yes. who put on a terrific show tonight. Yeah, it's been an outstanding Grand Prix, quite possibly the best. Chanting his name, the atmosphere still absolutely fabulous, and uh, the Polish fans making their um, uh, chant heard, echoing around this glorious sta uh, stadium. It's champagne time. So, uh, you don't want that sting in your eyes if you can help it. That really is quite uncomfortable. That is a downside of being on the rostrum. You get filled in with uh, champagne. Yes. Fabulous scenes, though. These are fantastic. Let the celebrations begin. Congratulations, Bartosz Marslik, winner of the Betard Wrocław FIM Speedway Grand Prix of Poland. Great pictures here. Wow. Are they all right in there, do you think? <laughs> Can't see them. <laughs> Can't see them. Do hope they're OK. I'm sure if they've coped with all seven heats tonight that they've been in, I'm sure they can cope with that. Stunning move up the inside to hit the front. And uh, now the uh, selfie time. Overjoyed. Yeah. Some of them are riding tomorrow. Some of them rode last night. Busy time of year, of course. All the leagues in full swing, championship also, three Grand Prix in August, so plenty of championship speedway coming up. Enjoyed your company as always, Kel, been terrific speedway here tonight. We move on to Melilla in a fortnight's time for round six of the FIM Speedway Grand Prix series. We'll take a look back at the highlights of the night, but for now, from Kelvin Tatum and myself, thanks for joining us. We'll speak to you in Melilla in a fortnight.